Castle Drachenfels. As evil a lump of stone as ever was laid. So, this wizard, Drachenfels, he was among the worst of the worst from what I've heard. No man has entered Castle Drachenfels for 20 years, but as you should know by now, the vermin are no men. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Fanshark live stream. This is our bonus stream for this week. We are celebrating the free weekend and the release of Drachenfels, our latest DLC. Joining me today is Tam Boltzford, gameplay programmer, and Leah Wakelin, community manager. Hey. How are you doing, Tom? He's, uh, he's not very talkative it's today, quite so we're just going to have to... Sore throat or something. Have to go with it. My name's Liam O'Neill, producer here at Fanshark, and behind the screen over there is Blondie, our mythical stream master. He, he doesn't speak either. He just waves at We've got some cheeky fingers, though. Got some figures we get. On today's stream, we're going to be doing tons of cool stuff. We're going to be taking your questions, talking about the new release of Drakenfels, the DLC, talking about the free weekend of the game, which we're currently running. So we have a lot of new players coming in, and hopefully we'll give you guys a chance to get to know some more about the game, ask us your questions, and uh, we can learn what you think of the game. Mm -hmm. We're going to be doing a special type of giveaway for these streams. So typically what we do is we do a stream every single week. Every Tuesday at 5 p.m. CEST, we run a stream, and that includes a, a typical kind of introduction to the news, what's going on with Vermintide. We do a community spotlight where we show some of the coolest artwork, screenshots, videos, all that kind of cool stuff from the forums and from the community in general. And we always round off our streams with a giveaway. Oh, yes. So because today is a bonus stream, we thought we'd do giveaways as we go along. So every 15 minutes of this stream... Every 15 minutes. Every 15 minutes, Leo, we're going to be doing a giveaway. That's going to be of hats for the game. These are exclusive hats that you can only get on the live stream. We're going to be giving away some copies of Vermintide, Ooh. some DLCs as well. Nice. Actually, both Schlüsselschloss, which was our last DLC, and Drakenfels, which just came out yesterday. So no. you're not going to want to miss that. Did you say the base game? I did say the base game. We did say the I base game. I didn't listen. Did. It's okay. <laughs> it's fine. So I'm not sure if we're doing community spotlight today, are we? No, I I, I haven't had time. It's been a really busy week on the board, right. like uh, especially the last you know day, welcoming all the new guys and uh, catching up with all of the feedback you've been throwing our way regarding the new DLC. Um, so no, no community spotlight yeah. this week. It's been busy well, this week, this day, this day. I know, I know. We uh, we had the release day yesterday, and um, sixty six percent of our QA department were ill. Unfortunately, so we had a we had a chaotic moment. Absolutely, uh, but it works out in the end. I think we managed to get the, the game out in a in a nice state, and the, or the DLC rather, and mm -hmm. people seem to be enjoying it so far. So yeah, I mean, we've had some really good feedback from all of you. Um, yeah, you seem to be really getting your teeth into some of the new mechanics out there, especially the darkness. Um, oh yes, that's that's something that I've seen a lot of great great feedback on. Yeah, I was I was so excited about that mechanic as well, and just like seeing how people would play with it, mm. because I think. I mean, what's interesting is that people have certified the Grims and Tomes already. Yeah, I just find that great, and people are doing speed runs and all that kind of stuff. But what's fun is listening to how people play with the new mechanics, like the darkness, the traps, and obviously like just figuring out the new levels is really yeah, good yeah. fun. And uh, I know uh, we, we've also we've had a lot of questions about kind of adding new voiceovers to the game, and, and that's been fun now as well to be able to share those new those new dialogues between the characters. Yeah, I think some of the interactions are really good. Yeah, I, I think our voice actors are just doing a great job, and uh, we actually just today. One of our sound designers was sharing around in the office one of the absolute new lines that we're doing for, an, for a new DLC coming out soon. We're not going to announce that quite today. We're, we're going to focus on this one. Stay on track. But uh, <laughs> it was really funny. It was really funny. And uh, may or may not have been related to what I'm wearing today. So uh, you can look forward to that soon. Well, since we released Dragonfalls yesterday, we thought we'd go through the new features for the DLC. We'll kind of walk you through our new mini site for the update, talk about what that DLC entails for anybody kind of uninitiated or just joining for the free weekend and wants to learn a bit more about the DLC we just put out. We'll kind of walk you through it right now. Um, I think Blondie's just figuring out the technical points. We just we just do the talking. Right? Blondie does all the hard work here. And uh, Tom, of course, with us in spirit. So the Dragonfalls update is... 1.3 for the game, effectively. This is our our fourth DLC, actually. Yeah. So we've done two free DLCs previously. That was Sigmar's Blessing and Last Stand, which is a new game mode. And uh, Dragonfels is our second paid DLC. This is actually our biggest one to date as well. This yeah, is a, yeah. a level pack, effectively, which also adds in two new weapons. So we're going outside of Uber Strike for this one. Which is exciting. Very exciting. Yeah. We've expanded the map, so you can now... I'll zoom out of that and go somewhere new, and this takes you up to the Grey Mountains, to the Drakenfels kind of epic castle. Of uh, do you know anything about the lore of that? 
Um, I don't know masses myself, yeah. but um, I mean, I've done a lot of reading in the last few weeks, and actually, it seems like quite a big part of uh, Warhammer history and, and, and Warhammer lore. And, and from what I gather, it's it's something that really interests kind of the the Warhammer clique um, that are out there playing Vermintide. Mm. So, I believe yeah. one of the one of the kind of core. Um, I guess points in Warhammer history that we reference a bit is the, uh, I think it's called uh, the Poison Feast. Right. It's just a lot of fun. Uh, I won't spoil anything for those of you who are coming into the DLC, but uh, it's good fun. And we kind of, we touch a little bit on the lore for those of you who like uh, the Warhammer world. And um, it's just a lot of fun. As you've seen, like in the trailer there, that, that darkness section, and you've got this really kind of um, grim and gloomy atmosphere. It's just, it's so much fun. I saw you playing with... Uh... Rasmus from QA yesterday. Yeah. That looked terrifying. Absolutely terrifying. <laughs> Are we trying to do a, a two-man cataclysm run? Hmm. We didn't win. We didn't win. <laughs> so let's, uh, let's go ahead and scroll down the page a bit, and we can kind of check out the new features, just go through them one by one. So obviously, like I mentioned, there's the new area that takes us into Castle Drakenfels. This is, you know, we as we go along, we want to explore more and more of the Warhammer world, and uh, this is kind of our first step outside of Ubershrike, and... Um, you know, we talked with Daniel Platt, lead level designer. He was on a stream earlier, kind yep. of talking about how we choose these locations and, and sort of where the idea for the Grey Mountains came from. And one of the reasons is really because it's it's not unrealistic that our heroes would travel there next. Yeah, that's kind of a fun part as well. Is like telling what would be the next part in their story, the next chapter, if you will. Yeah, the next because, part in their journey. Yeah, exactly. Because they've kind of, you know, I don't want to spoil the end of Vermintide here for anybody who hasn't played it yet. But um, they've kind of, you know, they've finished. A, a sort of quest, I guess you could say. And now they're, they're yeah, I don't want to go into it. Sorry. <laughs> I don't want to spoil it. But yes, this is a big update. We've got three new levels. We can actually keep scrolling down. We can kind of walk you through each. We have some new weapons of rat destruction. So let's go through those first. I think that's such a great line as well. Uh, we have a volley crossbow, which is for the witch hunter. The boss bow. The boss bow, it was named on the last patch. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we got some hashtag boss bows going around in the community. Absolutely. Or coffin bow, I think. Some of the coffin other, bow, yeah. We've had a few names coined for this one. Yeah, you can see kind of the layout. It does look like someone's put three crossbows in a, in a coffin together. Yeah, so yeah. I think people caught on to that. <laughs> it's a, it's a semi-automatic crossbow. It takes 15 bolts before reloading. And you can actually fire three bolts at the same time. That's the alt fire for it. Nice. So this is, a, this is an absolute beast of a weapon. And uh, these are going to drop on the new Dragonfuls levels. So... Regardless of whether you're on the DLC or not, you're still going to be able to join people who do. So if a, if a friend of yours invites you to a game, they have the DLC, you don't. You can still play, you can still get these weapons, you can still get the achievements. We really try to keep the DLCs as far as we possibly can. And I'm right in saying that the weapons are only included in uh, the dice game at the end of those levels. Yes, exactly. They're not able to be obtained through the forge. No, so you have Absolutely. to beat these levels yeah, to get yeah. these weapons. Right. We had, uh, we had one guy in the office who got it on his uh, first play of one of the maps, and uh, I'm still looking personally. <laughs> So that's, you know, that's part of the fun. Uh, also got the Waywatcher has a new weapon. It's the Glaive. So this is the Waywatcher's first two-handed weapon. This massive, you know, I don't, I don't even know how to describe that. It's like, it's like an axe, but it's like a, a pole arm. It's, it's that kind of... It's monstrous. Like a bardage kind of thing. Um, but it's a Glaive, and it, it is absolutely crazy. It deals insane damage to Storm Vermin. It's kind of the Storm Vermin killer. That's that's a little bit of the, the niche that we wanted for the Waywatcher. She was kind of missing an element to combat these big heavily armored dudes yeah so now she's got that i know we've got followed by uh by uh, someone we know there hey there tommy hawk how you doing man <laughs> so um where was i yes the glaive hey. is a storm armor killer effectively mm. and um what's interesting about it is it both has your regular kind of swings that you would expect like sweeping motions and then it has a charged attack which functions as a combo so if you do a charged attack it's going to be this like uppercut kind of attack and if you do another charged attack within a short like short window, you'll do a, like a downward, downward strike. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's that kind of like preparing, like you're pushing them up and then you just slam them down. And that's that's dead storm room and all over the place. And it's beautiful. And it's a great weapon. It's so much fun. Yes, let's scroll down. There's going to be a long stream. So I'm going to be doing some, uh, some casual drinking of some Coke here. Nice. It's like Coke Zero. It is Coke Zero. Oh, yeah. it's, like, it's got like a, what is it? Oh, it's some kind of European football thing. It's a branding. football thing. Yeah, it's football. I don't know anything about that. Sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. Sorry. Or soccer for the um, for the um, overseas uninitiated. <laughs> We've got a new level, as I mentioned, Castle Drakenfels. This is the big one. This is the massive new level for the game. People have been kind of comparing this to like the new Horn of Magnus and stuff like that, which is really fun to hear as well. People seem to really be digging it. It's got this, you know, the Castle Drakenfels was built by this. I believe it's an old enchanter. 
if yes. I'm not saying this wrong. I think Geraint Geraint was oh, count. the great enchanter. The great oh, enchanter. The greatest of well, enchanters. That's what he was called. So what else would he be than an enchanter? Hmm. So, yes, got it right. And, Constant um, Yes, and it's built to be this kind of labyrinthic, weird-ass castle, hard to navigate, tricky, you know, scary place. And uh, even though he isn't still around, you might still be able to catch something of a glimpse of his presence. Mm. So that's one of the enjoyable parts of, of the castle. Like Tom, he's there in spirit. Exactly. It's, sometimes he speaks to us. <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> the castle's a lot of fun, and this is, as I said, the longest level. It has a great ending as well, where, you, where we kind of shake things up with a bit of random elements here and there. you kind of got to make this great escape. A lot of fun. So that's been that's been super exciting to do and it's obviously it's a very different environment from any other level that we've done previously i think man the ramparts is probably the closest in that kind of yeah. almost castle like look but it's on a wall this time you're actually inside an interior of a castle and the guys have done a really good job of making it look and feel sort of just part of the world you know um it really captures this kind of eerie this eerie presence and, and you know mm. the detail put into just all of the decoration and all of the things you see and, and you can almost smell it i suppose yeah it's creepy yeah all creepy and uh we got some new music as well for this dlc come from jesper cute who's done the original soundtracks and also yeah. uh, jonas one of our sound guys uh they both made some really nice music for this dlc we have some super great just organ themes which is just like ah oh, that that kind of vampiric almost feel to it you mm. know so it's, it's good stuff the second level is the dungeons you want to talk about that one leo yeah sure so, so the dungeons also i mean it kind of introduces a kind of a new and interesting mechanic that we've not really explored before in that um well, one of your parties essentially going to have to try and be this torch wielder. You know, the the dungeons is a big part of what sort of lingers from from Drakenfels himself is this kind of mysterious darkness that uh, your typical brightness won't it won't cure. No, you, know, you can't crank up your gamma and have a look around. It's not going to help. Um, the bright wizard can't just conflagrate everything and 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 show you your way. You know, someone is going to have to be the bearer of the torch, and uh, in doing so, be essentially unarmed I suppose yeah effectively um, I mean you can throw the torch down yeah so we've seen people you can push and you can throw the torch around so it, it kind of works like um, I could go up and push an enemy throw the torch behind him grab my glaive kill the sucker and pick the torch back up so mm. you've got some nice combat moves that you can run around with the torch as well but it, it is an extra element of you, you almost want to dedicate someone to just making sure that the torch is in a good position. Mm -hmm. You can always split that role and try to help each other out, but I, I find like when we've been playing internally, it's, it's really good to have somebody who's like in charge of the torch yeah. and everyone else just kind of sticks to that player. It's just uh, really enjoyable, actually. Yeah, I mean, it's it's one of the things we've had, I'd say, the most feedback on as being something. I think initially people were kind of concerned that, you know, the torch bearer would be the guy who was sort of burdened with very little to do, but actually, yeah. from, from what I've read, <laughs> they're having almost the most fun because it's actually quite a dramatic role to have, mm. you know, and, and everyone's survival hinges on you making sure that torch is in the right place at the right time. Exactly. Mm. My, my favorite is carrying the torch and then just throwing it at Skaven and then just going with, with your sword. Yeah, man. Berserker. Yeah. That's yeah. what it's all about. <laughs> and this level also introduces another mechanic. So this is a, this is a packed level with new, new cool stuff. It is the spike traps. Yeah. So this is a level where you're really going to watch your footing and kind of make sure that where you're walking isn't on a trap because that's going to hurt. Spikes hurt. Spikes do hurt. And we were third level as well. Can we talk about that before the giveaway starts? Can, I don't know. Well, there's probably a lot more to talk about than 35, we're gonna, we're gonna 25 speed through this. Hours. We're going to now, ladies and gentlemen, in 20 seconds, we're going to be doing the first giveaway of the stream. Every 15 minutes, we'll be doing a giveaway. So you're going to get that counter kind of resets as we go along. And we are going to be giving away hats on the stream, copies of Vermintide on the stream, giving away nice. DLC keys for both Schlusserschloss, which was our last DLC, which I'm amazed that I can even pronounce, and Drachenfels. Can you spell it? No. no. <laughs> We're going to be giving away keys for Drachenfels. If you win a copy of the game or a uh, DLC key, you'll also get the hat. So it's that kind of double up situation. It's so Blondie, how does one join this, the uh, giveaway? What, um, what, do the, what do our viewers have to do to be a part of this? Let's pick a good hashtag. I think we should do uh, hashtag Tom's beard. Okay, hashtag so Tom's let's beard. Start, so let's start off with hashtag Tom's beard. Hashtag Tom's beard. All uh, lowercase. Can you write that on the stream somewhere so it's like easy to so people know? Are we going to change it up for each giveaway so yeah. that we can discern between which? Yeah. yeah. Title T. <laughs> Almost. There you go. It's easy. Hang on. We get in there. 
We got this, guys. Don't worry about it. This is totally planned, scripted. Live TV, man. Yeah. So Tom, can Tom, happen. what do you think about the hashtag? Uh, Fair enough. Let's ride with it. I don't know if there, you go. Go. there we go. There we go. Hey. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Tom, and this this is his beard. It's kind of uh, all of its there you glory. Go. There we go. This is the hashtag. If you want to be part of the first giveaway, type in the chat hashtag Tom's beard right now. And it looks like it's working. The chat is going crazy. As always. Good stuff. Oh, what's your drink? Oh, God. Whoa. <laughs> We're going to give that just a couple more seconds. It's a lot of beard action going on. A lot of beard action. Ladies and gentlemen, you only have to write it once. Don't worry about it. It is all tracked in a awesome system that we have. Did you say that they have to follow us? Oh, yes. In order to be a part of this giveaway, you also have to be a follower of our channel on Twitch. So if you're not following us, make sure to hit that follow button. Otherwise, we cannot send you a key, and that would be super tragic. Tragic, indeed. So we'll, we'll give another kind of 15 seconds for people to, to go over and follow our page, get those hashtags in. Let's do this. You want to count down? Okay, we've got the first wheel spin coming up. Ladies and gentlemen, what's it going to be? I like how there's two green ones just next to there. The wheels like... It's a hat. It's a hat. It's a hat. That's going to be for Azorast. Azorast, thank you so much for being a part of the stream. And and congratulations on your new headgear. Congratulations. We're going to be sending you a key via the inbox on Twitch. Next spin. This is a subscriber. Ooh. A hat. And it's another hat for, congratulations for Max, Max Ursa. Ursa. Max Ursa, congratulations. And also, thank you for being a subscriber of our channel. And thank tuning so into our, our bonus stream. Our bonus stream. You could have been doing so many things on a Friday, and you chose to be with us, so thank you. And another person has just won a hat. I like that the hats are the things going out first here. Exactly. And it's for... Death Nail 9D. Thank you for saying that. Because <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce that. Congratulations. And, ladies and gentlemen, what's going to be the next item on the wheel? There's only two more. Ooh, it's, it's a game, game key. So, Red Pandemonium, you've just won a base copy of Vermintide as well as a hat. Awesome. We're be sending you two keys in your inbox. Congratulations and thank you for being here. If you already own the base game key, you're well, it's the sort of thing you can give to a friend. Give um, to a friend, sell it. You know. Yeah, do what you like. But um, whoever receives give it, give it to Tom. Tom, mm -hmm. he, he needs it. He needs all the help he can get. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, the last giveaway of this wheel. We're going to be doing another giveaway in just 15 minutes, so don't go anywhere. Let's spin the wheel. What will What's it be? It gonna be? It's uh, exciting. It's, it's a, a hat. hat. And that goes Jinx. that goes to <laughs> Jack the Schiltzer. Oh, that's Schiltzer. 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 Yeah, from your perspective, I can see where that would be. Yeah, that was Jack the Schiltzer. Thank you so much for following us and congratulations, you've just won a hat. Okay, back to Dragonfalls. We'll be doing another giveaway in just 15 minutes. Don't go anywhere. So no more hashtags required for another 15 minutes. We'll swap the hashtag out as well. So we can uh, make sure that be the right people are getting the right things. Newcomers get their chance just as much as old. Exactly. Okay, the third level Summoner's for peak. the Dragonfalls DLC. So we want to get rid of that hashtag now. So. <laughs> we just keep it. It's kind of good. So Summoner's Peak, we, what can we say about that later? I've really struggled with this one, actually. Mm. It's, um, it's a great level. Uh, I think, was it during Wednesday's test session? We, we, I mean, we never even got to the end. We just seriously couldn't get there. But um, It's difficult. It is pretty tough. Um, some of those special spots can be uh, can be quite relenting as well. But um, yeah, we really enjoy this. I mean, the mm. portals themselves are uh, really exciting to look at and, and trying to stop the Skaven from actually doing something quite different. You yeah. know, they're not just coming to kill you. They're act actively like, you know, trying to, to, to protect their own interests and make sure that their reinforcements aren't interrupted. In that. Exactly. Uh, the whole premise is that they've got these, these portals, these Nurgle portals, which they are kind of defending with these generators. And um, the generators you want to go to and turn off. You want to disable them. And they're going to start overheating, which will make the Skaven panic, kind of run towards you, try to cool down the generator. If they manage to cool it back down, it's going to reset and you have to start the event over again. But if you manage to overheat the generator, it's going to blow up and it's going to take the portal with it in an epic explosion. It's pretty epic. It's a lot of fun. That's a lot of fun. Mm. So it's a great level, really fun to, to kind of play around with the new environments and introducing the portals as well that's been a lot of a lot of fun and some of the vistas as well as you're walking along the sides of this this well, cliff face i suppose mm. you know it's just i found myself just staring off going Phew. yeah i mean the the 
the guys have done a really good job of making something quite beautiful to the point in which it's almost a detriment to your team when you're just stood there going, <laughs> oh, well, look at that, that's exactly. stunning. Exactly. Yeah. AFK detection kicks in. Exactly. You should just stand there taking screenshots. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. All right, let's scroll down some more. I think we're slowly running out of content here. We can kind of... Let's we touch a little bit on the on the patch notes as well. We're going to be doing some. Uh, we're going to be playing some Dragon Falls as well, and uh, we'd be happy to invite those of you watching the stream if you want to join us and play. Uh, we'll give you some instructions on how you can be a part of that just in a bit. So quickly touching on all the patch notes again, introducing the Dragon Falls DLC as we mentioned, three new levels: the castle, the Summoner's Peak, and the dungeons. And these are, as we mentioned, if you don't have the DLC, you can still join friends of yours who do own it. So owning the DLC gives you the privilege to host it and invite other players, even if they don't own the DLC. We have two new weapons, the Glaive for the Waywatcher. Which, which we touched on earlier. Exactly, it's a two-handed weapon, super awesome. With a volley crossbow for the Witch Hunter. Love that weapon. I've been playing, like, I, for a long time, I really didn't like playing the Witch Hunter. Mm. I was more of like, I really like the, um, I really like the Bright Wizard mm -hmm. and the Empire Soldier. Yep. But then, something happened. I decided I wanted to be the best at Saltspire. And I, I experimented a lot with the weapons, and I was having a lot of fun, and uh, the Volley Crossbow, man. It's changed your... Uh, I, I know a lot of people in the chat have been asking about... Mm -hmm. uh, uh, not right now, okay. but just in general over the streams. People have been asking about rebalancing the 100 weapons, and uh, we are working on that. We are working on, on rebalancing the 100 weapons. Uh, I got to play some today. Yeah. Cool. And some of the weapons that I... I mean... I'm not ashamed to, to admit that some weapons I hated when we first released. Like, they, they well, not hated, but like... I it's could, too late I, now, I, you can't, I, can't, can't, can't save it. I could just play with another weapon and I would have more fun. Sure. And then I played with those weapons today, and they were so much fun. So, it sounds, hopefully... That sounds promising. Will, uh, fun confirmed. That's, that yeah. sounds promising. I haven't tried that out yet. I mean, no, one I, of I, them was super overpowered for Assault Pyre, but yeah. That's a standard, standard. Yeah, I know one of our uh, one of our game designers is uh, is currently experimenting with the uh, with the one out of weapons, and hopefully we can push that out on a, on a public test branch at some point and kind of get your feedback on that, get your input. Um, we're always kind of hesitant to making, you know, two drastic balance changes, balance changes at once. So we want to really try that out, make sure it makes sense before we push that out. The thing we want to avoid as well is is you, you, you make changes to a weapon to the point where it becomes the best weapon you can yeah. use, at which point all other weapons become kind of moot. Sure, really. that's tricky. Um, yeah, the idea is obviously we want them all to feel different, but actually feel equally as effective in their own right. Or whether you're... Mm your preferred style of gameplay may prefer one weapon, someone else's may prefer another. And that's the ideal, and that's something we're working towards. There you go, absolutely. So hopefully that's something we can push out soon. Uh, okay, we got the new pickup, as we mentioned, the torch, which is obtainable on the dungeons level to uh, traverse the dark areas. A lot of fun, definitely check that out if you got mm. the DLC. And uh, that level introduces spike traps and darkness as a mechanic. A lot of fun. A lot of fun you, to run out. If you don't have the DLC, but someone you know does, you can still try it out. If you don't have the DLC and you'd like to play with us, actually Leo's going to be playing in just a bit and he might be able to invite you. Uh, and you so can carry me. I believe you can even get the weapons yes. without owning the DLC Absolutely. as long as you play the levels. Yeah. Exactly. So if you want... So, slight uh, shout out to our great communities at uh, the Reddit. Reddit.com slash r slash vermintide. What else do we have, Mr. Community Manager? We have the Steam Boards. And we have the Fat Shark Forums, the official Fat Shark We've got verminguide.com. Official... Verminguide, absolutely, absolutely fantastic. Discord. Mr. Mr. Ezard running that. Discord, aim, aim on targets TV running that. Yeah. Yep. Good stuff. We'll, we'll shout out to these guys. Yeah. If you're new to the community and you want to you be a part of the Vermintide community, you want to get to know other people playing the game, definitely head over to our website, check mm -hmm. the community tab. We've got a lot of great links there to both um, channels that we run and channels that the community runs. The subreddit and the Discord are completely community run. We yeah. hang out there a lot, yeah. but we don't moderate them. We don't own those channels. They are completely the communities, and that's how we want it to be. You guys own the game just as much as we do, and yeah. that's the way it should be. Absolutely, and we'll be adding to that community channel in the website um, over time. You know, I'm working on building up a, a, like a fan art portfolio on there nice. and highlighting some of the guys. Um, it's not quite ready yet because. I'm not very good at WordPress, but I'm getting it. <laughs> It'll be there, guys. <laughs> Soon TM. <laughs> so we got a bunch of feature changes in this DLC as well mm. that are kind of outside of the, the DLC even. 
Um, the first one isn't, that's the fact that the map has been expanded. So if you open up the map in the inn, it's actually expanded now to the point where you don't only hang out in Uber Strike, it brings you out to the Grey Mountains. That's, that's just super cool. And it's hopefully something we can keep expanding on as we go along in the future. We've, uh, we've added a new fire effect actually for bombs and I believe for, for some Bright Wizard spells too. It's like a, one of the general fire effects has been uh, kind of tweaked up a bit. And, yeah. um, I know we've had some great to... feedback on the bomb changes. Oh yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. People are really enjoying that. That's great. That is awesome. We've redesigned the lobby browser a bit. Uh, I know we had a silly bug in there that we found the other day, but uh, hopefully we'll, we'll patch that around. <laughs> but it's a, bit, it's a bit cleaner, just easier to navigate. It looks a bit better. We've um, we've made sure that AFK detection no longer triggers when you're on the end of level screen. That can get a bit awkward. Mm -hmm. That's fixed now. We have added a couple of different chat options. So you can now scroll up and down in the chat with the page up and down keys. Nice. You can change the chat size to a pretty ridiculous cap. It's pretty funny. And it's like these big letters. It's, I use that. It's funny. We, have, we now have an option to disable the chat entirely, but that will still show messages like if a player joins your party or if someone's leaving, that kind of stuff, just to make sure you're getting the relevant information. Uh, something that, that I know Hedge was requesting the other day, Mr. Leo, the F1 key can now be rebound. I know, it's a strange one, right? But, you know, we get these requests all the time, and if we can do anything to sort of make your life a little easier, and if you want to rebind the F1 key, now we can. I can. Download the patch today. <laughs> We've enabled pixel snapping when running on 1920 or 1080 or above. This should make certain UI elements sharper. Nice. That's pretty cool. I'm not sure what it means. Neither am I. But it's good. I think what it is is if you're playing on like a 4K resolution or something that's above 1080, like mm -hmm. something above standard, it makes the UI just look a bit more crisp. Right. So it's it's just a nice one. One of those things. It's a classic, you know. Whoever built that system probably thought about it and nobody else did. It's, True. But, but maybe some people did. So we hope those for those people, you appreciate it. Yeah. yeah. It's just like dissing our programmers here. That's me. Sorry, guys. <laughs> we have uh, added an ammo amount to when you're checking out ranged weapons in your inventory. So if you open the inventory chest and you hit like uh, a crossbow or a repeater handgun or whatever, you're comparing between those, you can actually see the amount of ammo. And this was, uh, a lot of these things have been just suggestions we've got from the community. I think that one was from Twitter at some point or from an email. I'm not sure, mm. but... Uh, I remember seeing the suggestion and it just kind of got popped into our backlog and then once somebody had a couple of uh, a couple of minutes or a couple of hours over, they just kind of go through these things and yeah. fix one, one, one thing at a time. Uh, we've had an option for changing the opacity of the overcharge um, screen effects. So that is if you're playing a Bright Wizard or a Dwarf with the Drake Fire Pistols, you're going to get that overheat mechanic mm -hmm. and kind of tweak that out a little bit so it's not as intrusive on the screen. Or or more intrusive, I guess. If you want to. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> if, you, if that's the way you want to go. You can actually make it completely invisible now, I believe, as well. If you just, that's, that's just tweak it. It is, yeah. yeah. You, you still have you have still have this uh, the meter at the bottom of the screen, so you can oh, still okay. see that. It's okay. it's the screen effect itself, so it's it's not a super hard mode then. No, it's not it's not hardcore. <laughs> it's not disabling everything. Which is something we've had requests on, so maybe we'll add a disable HUD thing at some point. That sure. can be fun. Mm -hmm. For the rats chats of, of people out there. Yeah, no no hard white weapons, no chain kits. Yeah. Just one button press. Yeah. And you do, it just kills you instantly. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we have updated the automatic hardware detection in the launcher. This is one of those things that we do continuously. So when you're using the launcher, there is an automatic detection for what hardware you have. That's going to try to set the, the video settings accordingly so that you can get the maximum frame rate at a reasonable um, a reasonable kind of graphical level. You still tweak those. It's a nice thing for new players. It's one of those small things. And this is a pretty big one. We have um, we've improved the push distance of the devastating blow. We kind of found a bug in the way that devastating blow was working, and so Tom actually fixed that. And uh, yeah, nice one. He's not moving, is he? No, he's very quiet. Bit, bit awkward. Oh well. And uh, that's <laughs> that's a nice change. If you are using a shield and you're using devastating blow, go play the fall. That's my advice. <laughs> Definitely. Oh, I saw you doing this. this <laughs> I was having so much fun. Yeah. I still lost, but you know. Well, it was last stand, so you always you lose. You can't win. No, but I was, I was losing even beyond losing, you know. My level of losing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Not quite. <laughs> <laughs> We're about to find out about Hedge's level of losing mm. in a bit. <laughs> no, it's all good. It's all good. I was told off by Reddit that you weren't a noob. And I, I never meant that. I apologize. I apologize live. Yeah, you did. I meant it. <laughs> We've got a time. ton of bug fixes coming out of this patch as well. It's just like insults. I'm so sorry. It's fine. You're, go you're going for everyone today. 
I'll move on. We got a ton of bug fixes in this patch. We got actually seven, no, 67 bug fixes came out. So a ton of crash fixes, uh, just various things all over the place that we've been getting reports from the forums. We check our kind of, um, you know, what, what are the most common crashes, these kind of things. We try to adjust and address as many as we possibly can for this patch. So this has been a huge one for us. It's a big list. Probably the biggest patch we've done to date. Mm. And uh, yeah, it's been great. Definitely let us know what you think about the new DLC, about the changes in the patch. And uh, yeah, keep us keep us up to date on your thoughts. Yeah, and keep filling up the community place. Any any community place you frequent, just fill it up with your feedback. And I'll, I'm I'm going through it every day. That's what yeah. I do. I would read every single patch note, but uh, that could no, be, we could be here a while. That. And we've got a giveaway coming up soon. Exactly. And obviously, if you want to check out Vermintide, if you are currently here for the free weekend and you haven't purchased the game already, we are on a forty percent off. This is the biggest sale we've done to date, I yep, think. Yep. So, uh, an excellent chance to pick up the collector's edition or the base game of the game. Uh, grab a copy before the sale is off, I believe. If you check the store page, it tells you when that sale um, expires. So, definitely, if you're playing for the free week, you can definitely give the game a go before you buy it and just see if it's for you. If you like what you see, if you want to play it more when the free weekend ends, we, uh, we I think there's a window after it. the weekend ends and when the sale ends. So, if you're umming and ahhing, you've, got a, you've oh. got a period of time in which you can make your mind up. Okay. Yeah. That's cool. All right, we got three more minutes till the next giveaway. How about we spotlight some of these community pages we were talking about? Because yeah. we got the we got the community tab just behind the giveaway text. If you check the top right corner of roomtide.com, we've got a, a little tab with a, a community page. That text is moving. I know. Whoa, it's crazy. So at the top right, you can see the community, <laughs> the community drop down. Uh, we got our official forums, the Fatrack forums. We've got our official Steam group as well. Uh, sorry, we'll do one at a time here. So these are the Fat Shark forums, and we do, we have specific forums for Vermintide, we have one for Blood Sports TV, which is a game we put out last year as well, and for some of our older games, like Letting Gold, Crater, if you want to check out those and talk to people who are still playing those games, that's, that's a couple people here and there, you know. Yep. And uh, we got a lot of cool people hanging out on these forums, a lot of kind of feedback coming in, a lot of um, people posting guides and tutorials. It's actually also a very friendly stuff. place. It is. I think, yeah. yeah. Um, of all, of, you know, you go to places like Reddit and actually on Steam and you've got a lot, a kind of a larger, broader community, whereas mm -hmm. actually you're finding the Fat Shark forums, people are a lot more invested in, in, in making, you know, their, their experiences yeah. much better, both in the forums and in the game. So, um, it's only like, a, it's like 10,000, 15,000 users or something. It's a bit, you know, it's a lot smaller, mm. more controlled. Yeah. <laughs> Not controlled as in like we dictate the posts. Don't worry. If you want to back out again, we can check out the, the Steam group. That's also actually a really good point. If you're interested in hats, definitely join our Steam group. That's going to give you two free hats right away. So that's a good way. And it also gives you the latest announcements for the game. So when we put out updates, when we push out news, you get a little pop-up telling you what's going on with Vermintide. So it's a good way to stay in the loop. Of this. this is our Steam group as it looks. We've got a lot of members in this group, actually. <laughs> Tons of people. So that you can, uh, you know, there's a group chat feature in Steam, so you can check that out if you want to find games. Got good links to all the forums, stuff like that. And if you scroll down, you can see, first of all, we got avatars you can pick. Nice. So there's actually 70, how many is that? 78. Eight avatars. Wow. That's a lot more than You added some recently, right? Yeah, we've been adding a couple of, uh, of different ones. If you want to open that, that up, actually, we can check those out. I haven't looked at those for a while. If you've got your standard, you know, the hero icons, you got some Skaven icons. If pretty, wanna, pretty cool. you want to be a traitor. And these are a bunch of icons that come from our achievements, actually. So we got some really cool ones. I like, personally, I really like the um, that one with the, the kind of sign with a no Skaven thing. Yeah, yeah. Skaven keep out. Kind of, that's, I just love that. It's funny. Funny. <laughs> we got tons of cool stuff here. You got the dice, obviously. You know. The cursed dice. Yeah. Tons of stuff. Wow. A lot more than I remembered. Oh, we're actually missing three. We should be adding those. Yeah, the new ones. Mm. The new achievements. Updates. So if you want to be a part of the Steam group, just go in, click on one of these, and that's actually going to be your avatar on Steam. And you'll get, as I mentioned, two hats for being a part of the Steam group. Pretty cool stuff. That is pretty cool. And uh, you think you have to win a hat on the, st on the stream here. You get two just for clicking a button. Yeah. And the well, only uh, way you can get those two hats is through the Steam group, which is great. And now, ladies and gentlemen, giveaway another time. giveaway. <laughs> nice. Can you do that? Do that. Do it again. What? Say, say nice again. Nice. I was told that I should have hidden behind him. I know it's, it was very, right. It wasn't very believable. Surreptitiously leant down to pick up something. <laughs> next time. Next time. Next time. This is not scripted. 
evidently. As you can tell. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the second giveaway wheel of today. We're going to be giving away four more hats and another game key for I, Vermintide. Yeah. Good stuff. Good stuff. What, what hashtag are we doing? Ooh. It's not going to be a Tom's beard. What should people we do? Are cheating Bosbo? Well should we do Bosbo? Hashtag Bosbo. Hashtag Bosbo. When we introduced the volley crossbow on the last stream, people kept telling us it was the Bosbo. The so, so that was the established community name for the volley crossbow. So let's do title team. <laughs> let's do hashtag, hashtag Bosbo. Bosbo, one word. Uh, as soon as Bondi figures out how to use the streaming software, we're going to be... <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! This is a mature stream. This is a mature stream. Should have said that earlier. We marked it as such. Excellent. <laughs> Easily offended. Sorry. I apologize. I'm blown his map. So if you want to be a part of the giveaway wheel this time, put in hashtag Bosbo in the chat, and we're we'll giving away four hats and one game key. Where's that? Is it more than four hats? No, it's four. Well, that's four. Yeah. It's four. Yeah. yeah. If you get the game key, you'll also get the hat. So drop mm, your hashtags. <laughs> it's, it's tricky. It's been a long week. It has been a long week. A lot of a lot of late nights getting yeah. this DLC out, but it's been uh, it's really been worth it. I think. People... Late nights and fast food. Yeah. <laughs> Slow nights and fast food. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. I think we have uh, more uh, entries this time. Oh, looks like we're we... getting more and more people into the into uh -oh. the uh, into the stream. Oh, we've lost the screen. We've lost the screen. Bear with us. Technical details, issues, um, difficulties. <laughs> you get like elevator music. Exactly, a little oh. interlude. Nice. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, get your hashtags in. You have to be following us on Twitch to be a part of this giveaway. If you're not following us, we cannot send you a key. That is the unfortunate reality of being us. It's technical limitations, right? Technical imitations. Limitations. All oh, right, that was funny. Oh. <laughs> easily amused today. Okay, let's do the first spin. spin. The wheel. Are you excited? What's it gonna be? It's a hat. It's a hat. It's a hat. It's gonna be a hat for a spooky onion. Ooh. It's a great name. I love that. <laughs> okay, second spin. Oh, another hat. Another hat. And this for... goes to uh, Mac Mackie Machine. Mackie Machine. Machine. Congratulations on your new hat. Congratulations. I'm spinning again. It's gonna be. Oh. Oh. It's a hat. It's another hat. That's going to be for Zaz underscore 90. Thank you, Zaz, for joining the stream. The, th Ooh, the fourth one. The second final one. The penultimate. Oh. It's another Oof. hat. For some reason, I always hat. feel like the wheel is picking like the coolest thing last. It's trying to work it out. It's not rigged, which is crazy. It's not rigged. Is it rigged? Oh. It's not rigged. Who, who's who is Last it? one. Oh, we haven't even given it to anyone. Have we? We've moved the wheel. We haven't given it to anyone. <laughs> Cancel the stream, guys. We're out. It's over. Uh, the, 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 the last hat went to uh, Quino. That was the name I saw. It began with a Q. Quinotechian. Quinotechian. Congratulations. You just won a hat. And, a hat. and the game key and the hat has gone to Alstop. 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 Thank you so much for joining the giveaway. Thank you very much for Ladies and gentlemen, we are us. doing another giveaway in 15 minutes. Don't go anywhere. We're going to start playing some video games with you all. It's going to be Vermintide. Surprise, surprise. It's a good choice. It's a good game. I've heard it somewhere. It's on free weekend now as well, I hear. Nice. And a sale. It's a sale. It's a 40% off. What well, well, better time? I wonder if they're putting out any DLC. I okay. think one came out yesterday. Really? Yeah. Could it be uh, probably like a new levels would be cool, wouldn't it? Three new levels would be really nice. That would be sweet. Maybe some new weapons. A couple of weapons. I feel like the Witch Hunter needs a new ranged weapon. Probably. Maybe some pretty cool. Some kind of Because I like the crossbow. crossbow. So I like the crossbow, right? Yeah, if you were to bolt maybe like three of them together. Yeah. And a coffin on, a, a coffin on top. Why to not? Put the dead skaven in? Yeah. Is that the idea? Yeah. It would need to be pretty big for that. It's pretty big. Wouldn't that be a cool DLC, ladies and gentlemen? Nice. What do you think, Tom? Excellent. Nice. I couldn't have said it better myself, Tom. Yeah, we agree. So we're in the inn. What's gonna be happening now is that Leo's gonna be picking up a gamepad. <sighs> A place from Dragonfells. So if, if you are in the chat and you'd like to join us for some gameplay, how about we do this? There is a there's a group chat that you can join if you're part of the Steam group. So you if moved, you're, Tom. Oh, sorry. Oh, he's fallen. If you're part of the Vermintide group, you can actually check out the group chat, I believe. How do we do that? There you go. You join the group chat room. And if you find Blondie, Fatshark Blondie, this is the name, just kind of join us, and we're happy to have you in our game. But we have Hulu, one. Hulu Plus is joining. 
Not understand. sponsorship. Join us. And we're going to be doing some new games as we go along tonight. We're do this is a bonus stream. It's going to be extra long. If I should have joined. There we go. Okay. You guys have to realize you are essentially going to be carrying me through these levels. You are going to be carrying Leo through these levels. And we're going to be playing the new Dragon Falls levels. So if you haven't played these already, if you haven't seen... Oh! oh it's the boss bow! It's the boss bow! Hulu Plus. Wow! Level 386. Serious business. Very cool, man. That is that's an epic hat he's got going on as well. Wow. That's one fancy guy. Ah, found the dodge button. Oh! <laughs> and that is actually... No, that's not, that's not that hat, is it? Is that the collector's edition hat? Yeah, I think so. I think yeah. it is. Thanks for buying the collector's edition, buddy. Hmm? That is uh, Vashadin. That's a cool name, too. And who? We have someone joining. Where's Where's Vashadin from? Where's that name from? I don't know. I re recognize it as well. Vashadin. Maybe I'm mixing up like the Vashda Narada from Doctor Who and right. the and the Hashashin from Genghis Khan or whatever. I don't know. It's possible. Oh, we have. Oof. Soldier. <laughs> I love that Soldier. name. Soldier. Look, look at the dwarf just staring you down. Right there. I'm kind of. Oh, he's <laughs> ruined it. Oh, he's Swedish. No, I mean, hey. where, where was the name from? Was what I was curious about. But it might just be made up. Who knows? Hey. So this is where I go very quiet whilst I try and concentrate on using the gamepad. All right. Nice. Hello, guys. Thanks for joining the game. So let's do Castle Drakenfels. As you can see, the map is now expanded. So if you have played the game before. Uh, you would know that the map is kind of zoomed in on Uberstrike. You want to head into Uberstrike and kind of look at what that used to look like. Or that what it still looks Hold like. Up. Uh, so this is the old map, as it were, like the old map, quote-unquote. But uh, we've expanded that now, and you can also go to a new section, which is Drakenfels. So if you hit B and you swap to that one, nice. three brand new levels, which we haven't played on this account yet. Uh, my voice really went up there. Really? <laughs> No, I haven't played them on my account. So we're gonna we're gonna do world first on Blondie's account here. World, world first. first. So well, I played them let's in, go through in order, I guess. Let's see. Let's start with the castle. Oh, he has played them. He lied. Oh shit! Did I? <laughs> it's probably from. You're the swearing test a lot, isn't it? It's testing. <laughs> it's a mature stream. It's a mature stream, based on. That's what we say after we swear. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I actually I was on a. Tom's one. I was on a I was on a stream. Um, where I accidentally, I accidentally said a bad word a couple of times. <laughs> it's funny. I don't know. Long story. <laughs> Great story, bro. I don't know. I lost it midway. How about we do hard? Because you've got a level 300 and something in there. Yeah, that's true. I mean, you, you guys are happy to carry me, right? <laughs> no pressure, guys. No pressure. Ready? So oh, Castle oh. Drakenfels, the longest level in this new DLC. And we have 11 minutes, 33 hit, to do it. And hit the uh, start game. Hit Y. Yeah. Why? Why? <laughs> it's a YouTube reference there. <laughs> it's beyond me. Yeah, I know. You don't play League of Legends. I don't. I couldn't handle it. Hmm. I just couldn't handle it. It's, it's fun. I remember we started playing that back in the beta. It was good times. Cool story, bro. There wasn't a story there, but I was just like... <laughs> so, Jamity Dodgers Jammy. In, in the chat How you doing, man? Uh, wanted to buy the new improved Tom. <laughs> well, uh, I asked him what his offer was, and he said uh, he will completely reset his vermintide profile <sighs> in exchange for the new Tom. If you would have said cupcakes, I'd have said yes. <laughs> we may actually be giving away Tom. Are we giving away Tom? I think we may actually give Tom away today. I, oh. I think I think we're giving away Tom to Tom. <laughs> we're gonna place him at his desk and just. We can't hey. give. We can't give him something he already has. He's he's already got a Tom. He doesn't need another. Are you sure? And those playing with me, if you can still hear me, you have to pardon. I'm going to try and interact a little more with the stream than I did on Tuesday when I, <laughs> I just kind of went into lockdown. So bear with us. As you may or may not have noticed, we're actually uh, a man short. Here. I can't hear anything. Yeah, we are no sound, Yeah, it's a headset situation. We're all good. We've got another giveaway coming up in ten minutes, and uh, what are we giving away in the next giveaway? Um, Schlüssel, Schloss. Should we give away two of those? Um, we got, we got some keys here or something. Yeah. 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 Give the people what they want. The the so, so, uh, as, as, we, every time I miss. as we kind of play through these levels, uh, I'm happy to take questions from the chat. If you have any questions on Berman's side, if you're new to the game, if you're uh, old to the game. <laughs> All sorts of questions, we're happy to take them. 
questions about the games industry, yeah. the music, about Sweden, what we're doing this weekend. A lot of play, people are playing uh, Overwatch as well this weekend. And uh, Total War Warhammer. Yeah. Cool stuff. They just, yeah, they just put out the game uh, it's on Tuesday, I think. Ooh, Total War Warhammer came out. Came out. Oof. Oh! Beautiful. If you get lucky, we might be able to find you the grave for the, for the Way Witch. Nice. I really, I, what I like about the Volley Crossbow is that people seem to be adopting it already as the kind of go-to Witch Hunter weapon. Which is, is really nice. Oh, oh no! Nothing at her! Flash it in! The Swedish killer! The, the killer of Swedish. Whoa, behind you! <laughs> Such a troll. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> nice one. Nice one. If you want to look up a bit, you can actually kind of see that. You can see the castle in the distance. Obviously, the the, the two moons. Well. Healing draft, if needed. Moons. That's some cool stuff. Healing draft over here. It's interesting. Like one of the one of the things we've been pushing is that look no man has entered Castle Dark for a very in the long time. Fire. But as it we know, it's like not even no, the vermin of man. No man. That's, a, that's a really good line. Because <laughs> mm. you can see the scaven kind of burrowed in here to the castle. Uh, to the catacomb, I think, because moving up into it. it and, uh, the goal of this mission is actually to find a chalice. I, I'm not 100% sure in the story there. I know I've... I've known this at some point, and I might be able to guess, but I'm, I don't want to say it. I don't want to get it wrong. So, um, if you say that we've been asked, I think no, it's by um, it is Christoph Engel, the Grey Wizard, who asked us to to get this goal. Not the chalice. In the dungeons level, you actually collect a skull, and both of these are for Christoph. Exactly what he's doing with these? Yet to find out. Who knows? Who knows? That's strange, isn't it? He wants these artifacts. Bring ruin death. We ask no questions. No questions asked. No, I mean we're 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 true heroes, right? You want to think great for the good of man. Yeah. It's funny we always like. If someone asked the forums a couple of uh, weeks ago, he's saying that he was wondering what the fifth hero does while the others are out on adventure. Guarding the beer, right? Guarding the guarding the beer. Yeah. That's what it is. Gotta keep the ale safe from the scaling cap. From the inky. He looks thirsty. And from Alicia. <laughs> our uh, our uh, friendly um uh, coach. Yeah. Check the text message. We're having some we were having some issues with um with certain antiviruses detecting the XC is it was like a false positive, so I know some of the guys upstairs are trying to figure that out. And um, hopefully solve that. So I'm just getting a, a little update on that now. It looks like looks like we got in touch with the antivirus folks and they've been able to help us out solving what's going on there. So hopefully that should, if you're experiencing those issues, hopefully that'll help solve them. It's definitely a pulse positive. Uh, pulse positive. <laughs> pulse positive. It's a pulse positive, bro. <laughs> creepy. This is a creepy, creepy room. Oh yes. That's uh, that's uh, where the undead bay that is. I'm we'll trying to get some uh, some uh, charge attacks in those. Damn, son. I didn't know that way off. I didn't even check the loadout. These are, these are dual swords. It's my loadout, man. I know it's sword and die, but also one of the swords in the icon is very much shorter than the other one. This is this is sword and dagger. <laughs> it is. You're damn right. <laughs> you're goddamn right. See that you don't interfere. The vermin type well. Their stench does not. Oh, our dwarf friend has jumped down. Bold. Oh, oh, these guys are spoiling for the stream the location of a, a, a an unpleasant tome of sorts. An unpleasant tome. So it's actually kind of tricky to make that jump, but down there is. Uh, it thinks it's being I'm surprised sneaky. the dwarf made it. Over there, back up. <laughs> That's a good one. Let's see if they make it back. So you're gonna have to do a bit of running now. So you guys can we just, can just chill. hang out. We have a conversation with the bright wizard. Interlude. Like, hey, hey, Sienna. Hey, 
What's going on? What's up? Sienna, look at me. Why won't you make eye contact? Sienna. What, what are you doing? What you up to? What spell's that? That's can, nice. Can you teach me magic? Oh! Hey. Whoa! Hello! It's fireworks. Oh, she's looking at you now. Oh, this is creepy. <laughs> oh! Hi. Back away. Back oh. away. Uh oh. Oh, she's oh. crashed. Oh, she's getting out of me! Woo! That's cool. You would have lost the bite with then. <laughs> awkward situation over. Adventure continues. I just imagine they would have had a couple of awkward moments as these heroes together. I think so. Because you've got this really, like, unconventional band of heroes. Yeah. Of, uh, of Waywatcher. Unusual mix of characters you wouldn't normally find down the pub on a Saturday night. Exactly. I get to go. <laughs> I guess I need to be faster. <laughs> it, what's funny, because that's it's also it's, it's one of the big things about the end times, is the end times really allowed us to create a cast this diverse because in these desperate times actually it makes a lot of sense for these heroes to be working together whereas normally you might not see you know a witch hunter working together with a bright wizard it's kind of crazy actually as far as the lore goes uh, our witch hunter is at the start of the game if you look closely in the intro video he is actually or the bright wizard is actually in handcuffs because the witch hunter was traveling her to uh, to basically stand trials for her crimes as a, uh, as a as a witch, or as a wizard. So she was hunted. Didn't have time for the court ruling, really, right? so we don't know if she's guilty. Or not. Innocent until trial by fire. Trial by fire. Just like in Game of Thrones. We don't talk about. That. We don't. I haven't watched it. Sorry. That's right, I can't see the chat food. Oh, fucking bad. <laughs> no, Listen in game chat and then I'll post. Please don't it. spoil Game of Thrones in the chat. I, 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 I might have a long story Game of Thrones. That, that shit is like the Bible to me. Don't do it. <laughs> Blondie's like oh a swearing God. stream. Watch spree. every I've, show. Spree <laughs> stream. I don't talk I've turned your face. That's why I turned every stream on the radio stream. It's all good. As I said before, if you have any questions for us, Feel free to drop them in the chat and I'll do my best to answer them. Blondie will send them my way. So just kind of talk about what's going on. We've got another giveaway coming up in two minutes, so that's going to be exciting. And I think we'll, after that giveaway, we'll do um, a short break, just a real short one. We'll kind of hop in to show them the trailer. Hmm. Maybe twice. Yeah. <laughs> we'll show the trailer ten times. We won't. I mean, it's ten times as good as just seeing a <laughs> So down here, the whole of the poison feast. This is a lot of fun. Uh, so Gallad T asks, what difficulty are they playing? What are you playing? Is it normal or hard? Hard. Hard, hard difficulty. Further, further increased by the fact that we've got a uh, grimoire as well. So and a gamepad. And we got two tomes too. These guys are. These guys are <laughs> learn this level quick. I don't even know where the Grimson Tome is. I found one tome by accident. Yeah. By accident, that's, that's okay. <laughs> I feel like whenever I go oh, looking yeah, for that. Uh oh. Oh, thanks for the warning. I feel like whenever I go looking for Tomes and Grims, uh, when we have a new level in development, I always like I always struggle with finding it. And then you just kinda of find them like you say like by accident. Oh, that's great, you got a, a rattling gunner behind the rat ogre, so he's actually going to be able to deal damage to the ogre. You just kind of position it. Oh, he's killed the rattling gunner. Probably, probably a good move, to be honest. That strategy rarely works. <laughs> Doom to you all asks, how is console doing? Console's doing good, actually. Yeah, we were, uh, we were in some talks today, actually, about the console version. Uh, it is looking promising. Uh, hopefully we'll be able to have a release date announced pretty soon for that. I know we've been, uh, we've been kind of talking about... Um, there are a lot of things you have to do to be able to release a game on consoles. It has a kind of submission runs and things like that. You run them via Microsoft and Sony. Make sure that the game is consistent to other titles on those platforms. So we're kind of going through those loops right now. We're going to make sure that everything is running as smoothly as possible. Making sure the game is tight and polished for the consoles. So as soon as we start feeling like we're confident with what we've got, we'll start sharing more details with you guys about that. And how you can get it the console version. So definitely look forward to Vermintide on consoles very soon. And now it's time for our next giveaway. Nice. Yeah. So Mr. Hedge is going to keep playing, and I will. Oh, this is beautiful. You got the, the stream wheel. So let's do hashtag. 
win Leo win. As in like win the level. Oh boy. I was very not not posting me, are you? I can see. It's funny every time, I don't know why. Win Leo win. <laughs> I love it. Let's get like extra. We don't we can't uh, we can't give the uh, the people playing with us any special benefits here. I like how they're waiting around for the giveaway here. Because I think they want to win too. Oh, I imagine they're in Twitch. Oh, we'll just pause your game for a second. Like, no worries. We'll just hang out. <laughs> hey, hey, guys, what's going on? What's up? You guys seen this carpet? Oh my god. That's crouch. pretty good. How do I crash on the pad? It's good detail. Uh, B, I believe. So, if you want to join nice. the giveaway, you all you need to do is put hashtag Leo or win Leo win. It's, uh, it's right. It's, it's, uh, it's further than I can reach. <laughs> I can't even. It's outside. Uh, there you go. <laughs> Hashtag win Leo win in the chat and be a follower of our Twitch channels. And you are a part of Subit Park of the Carpet. You're part of the giveaway. So for this giveaway, we are giving away. What are we giving away? A dwarf. The dwarf always. I always think it's game key right now. It's always going to say game key. Stay quiet. Okay. So the game key this time is a DLC code for Schlusser Schwartz. This is a DLC we put out. It's also a hat. So. Let's do the Get wheel. Let's do this. Are you excited? Oh, nice crossbow, dude. I agree. Good stuff. Let's keep this going. Nice All right. So put hashtag win Leo win to be a part of the giveaway. I'm gonna be spinning the wheel. First spin. It's gonna be a hat. It goes to Grimalact. Enjoying the stream, Grandma Light. Enjoy your hat. Check out your inbox on Twitch. We'll be sending you a key for that. I'll do it later on, right? Not straight away. No, we're doing it straight away. Doing it straight away. Nice. Efficiency. Do it live. Spinning the wheel. Recognize this was a trap. Effort. We're doing it live. <laughs> Effort. I'm like, trying to save the fact that you've sweared like four times. <laughs> um, the second one, it's a hat again. It's going to 10 pounder. Congratulations, 10 pounder. 10 pounder. <laughs> Another hat. It's like this wheel is so rich. This must be. This third one goes to Engine Seer Watkins. Engine Seer Watkins, congratulations, you've just won a hat for Vermintide. The wheel's moving again. It's another hat, and that's going to go to Calarion One. Calarion One, congratulations! You just got a hat for Vermintide. Thanks for joining us. What's the last thing going to be? It's going to be oh, a game key, and that is a key for our DLC Schlüsselschloss, also known as the Fall, which is a new level for the game mode Last Stand. Go check that out. We'll be sending you that as well as a hat to your Twitch inbox. Thanks, guys, for joining that giveaway. Another giveaway in 15 minutes, so don't go anywhere. Even if you've already won, I guess chances are you could win again. Yes. It's actually mm. possible for you to win twice. Everyone else is going to hate you, but um, are we gonna move on? you could win twice. Let's move on. <laughs> Let's move on. Well, like everyone actually waited for the giveaway. That was amazing. That was really nice. You guys, you guys, shout out to these players. Soldier, Hulu Plus, and Mashadin. You guys are great. Your question from the only Wolfie asks, is it possible to upgrade into the Collector's Edition? Yeah, it, is. it is actually. If you check out vermitide.com, go to the Buy Now button at the top right corner, and there is a little kind of drop-down menu that pops out. You've got Upgrade oh, yeah. to Collector's Edition. We didn't right say who won the game key. Did we? No. I, people are saying that we didn't. Uh, I it was uh, Atom51222. Oh, we definitely didn't say that. Atom5521242. Congratulations! I'm sure I said that. Oh well. You definitely didn't say that. All right. That's the first time I've heard. It'll be on replay. It'll be proof. It'll be proof on the internet. Congratulations! Sorry about that. Wasn't I? Didn't mean to forget about you. Okay. Is it possible? Yes. If you want to upgrade to collector edition, head over to vermintide.com. Check the top right corner. You've got a buy now button. Hold your mouse over that. It's going to drop down a little menu. Upgrade to the collector edition right there, and uh, you can buy that straight off the website. We, well, thanks um, for pinging the tone for me there. Hopefully we'll be able to add that as an option to Steam at some point as well. It's just, you know, it's been it's been hectic, uh, but we'll contact Valve about that and hopefully we can get a, a, an easier way to do upgrades. Mm. It'll be a, a nice little... Oh, he's just... He's we didn't poofed. see that. We didn't see that. that was a ghost gutter in it. That's what that was. The spirits have a gutter in it. This is like, I think, one of my favorite parts of this level. Just because you have these 
really cool pillars or spike pillars, and then you have that one that's falling down in the middle. It's a really fun place to fight the enemies on. You kind of jump back and forth trying to figure out. Like, you had a rat ogre here once. Oh, yeah, yeah. It just looks very cool. <laughs> See, that's like... So for anyone who's just joining the stream, welcome to our bonus stream for Vermatide. We are today we are celebrating the launch of our free weekend, the launch of our Drakenfold DLC, which came out yesterday, May 26th, and we are doing a longer stream than usual. We typically stream once a week for about an hour on Tuesdays at 5 p.m. CEST. We do community spotlighting, news for the game, we talk about all sorts of stuff, introducing our developers, chatting about upcoming features, and we always finish every stream off with a giveaway. That's kind of been our, our standard thing to do. And so for this special bonus stream, we thought we'd do a giveaway every 15 minutes. Because, you know, why not? It's good fun. Um, joining us today is, is Tom. As well. Of course. Tom. How's it going? So, where was I? Yes, our, uh, our Twitch channel was recently promoted to the status of partner. Which means that you can subscribe to our channel. And that's going to give you a ton of cool exclusive benefits like... Some uh, some really cool emoticons from the Twitch chat. You can get a, a special kind of fat shark badge in the chat. You can use those emoticons on anybody's stream. Anyway. So if you want to use the uh, the Tom's beard emoticon on any stream, you can go ahead and do that. As well. And uh, for streaming or for subscribing to our stream, you're also going to be getting a exclusive hat from Marcus Kruger. If you scroll down on the Twitch page, you can check that out. There's a picture of it right there. And that is not the same hat as we give away. The subscriber hat is exclusive to subscribers, whereas the giveaway hat is exclusive to the giveaway. So you have these two exclusive things going on. Uh, if you're interested in hats and you don't want to do either of these things or don't manage to win, you can also join our Steam group for free hats. Two free hats. Two free hats, yes. Hats all over the place, man. It's, it's fun. We love hats. We love hats. There you go. Alright, so how are you doing there? Yeah, okay, okay. I think, um... Mm. Which, speaking of death, it looks like your team is doing really well. They're very good. Okay. Right now, Leo, who is our community manager, aka Hedge, confirms, is just playing with a couple. <laughs> just playing with a couple of randoms here. Not randoms, but some people who are watching the stream and who joined us. So once we're done with this level, we'll kick off with a new game, and we're happy to invite some new people to join us. To go with the new DLC Drakenfell. We'll be hosting that. So if you don't own the DLC yet, this is actually a good chance for you to check that out because we can invite you even though you don't own the DLC. Features. Exactly. It's true for anybody. So if you bought the DLC but your three friends are like, no, I don't want to buy the DLC, you can still invite them and they can still play with you. They can still get the new weapons, they can still get the achievements. You can do everything. <laughs> go get it, boy. Love it. <laughs> I think your team is like getting along as well. Yeah. Cheeky. They're a cheeky bunch of chappies. <laughs> or chappets. Yeah, Remarked. chat that's, that's a good one. <laughs> Oof. Jojo00182 asks, what does the collector's edition give you? Oh, lordy. It gives you a rattling gunner to the face. <laughs> can we actually uh, show the store page real quick for that? And then we can go through the collector's edition. Nice. Do that. Check it out. There's a lot of cool stuff. We don't want to miss the end event here, but we'll, we'll kind of walk you through it real quick. So if you check out the... We'll, we'll jump back if... Yeah. If it, if it gets so spicy. <laughs> <laughs> nice one. Actually, not spoil the end of it. So we want to look at the collection. Oh, yeah. It could do. Yeah. So we've got the. Um, it looks like the next giveaway is the collection edition. <laughs> that's oh, yeah. that's actually not the case. <laughs> but uh, the collection edition comes with a ton of different stuff. There's some really cool digital goodies like a, a map of Ubersrike, some wallpapers for your desktop. We've got a behind-the-scenes pack with some some really old documents, some uh, like concept images, and a little video showing some of the earliest footage of Vermintide that we still have. Um, some stuff that we digged up like just around launch uh, from the very early alphas of the game and stuff like that. So if you want to know what Vermintide looked like back in the day, the journey it's been on. Yeah, it's good fun. It's good fun to look back at that, and, and you know, for us, it's very nostalgic. We've got the official soundtrack of the game by Jesper Kude. Get those MP3s. You can pop those onto your iPod or, or what have you. Do people still use iPods? I don't, I don't know, know. Your chosen MP3 playing device. Yeah, yeah. Your, your, your playing device. We are not sponsored by, by Apple or anything. No, I don't own any Apple products, actually. No. Come on. I mean, no I'm offense. Not that oh, I wasn't even paying attention. Oh, you I, was died. Looking, I was looking the wrong way. Apple just killed you. Apple's just killed you, man. <laughs> The Collector's Edition also features five different hats, which are exclusive, again, 
Like, all of our hats are exclusive. I like that. These are hats you can only obtain via the Collector's Edition. There is a Dal Grim Azul for the Dwarf. A hat of Purifying Light for the Witch Hunter with a little candle on it, which is just funny. I just love the Warhammer aesthetic and be able to do stuff like that. That just makes sense in Warhammer. Love it. We got the Bright College Flame Guard for the Bright Wizard. The Talamir Crown for the Waywatcher. And if uh, we scroll down a bit, we've also got the Ironside Helmet for Marcus Kruber, the Empire Soldier. And two trinkets. These trinkets, purely cosmetic, no pay to win going on here. We always want to be as far as we can with the stuff we put out. So these trinkets are just a bit of fun. If you're just starting out and you don't have any trinkets yet, pop these on. Show off fashion advantage, right? Oh, yes. It's all that looking good. Let's get back into Killing the game. looking good. Yeah. <laughs> if you don't look good, kill the rats. <laughs> so Buzogu asks, so I can play the new levels without having the DLC, just kind of start the fun stuff. Yes. You can, if you get invited by a friend, you can play with that person. They can help you out and you don't have to buy the DLC. If you don't want to. You want to support us and you want to be able to host the level, uh, levels, go ahead and buy the DLC. That was some efficient storm where I'm getting by the way. Yeah. In it. Look at that statue. Once you're done with the killing, definitely check out the statue. If you go up close, it's actually blood just screaming that dude. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, I love that he shot you down and you fell down the hole. <laughs> Tom would be proud. Tom would be proud. Be proud. The guy who was like, just that close to me. No joke. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Darker Prophet asks, with the addition of more paid DLC now and possibly in the future, any plans for a season pass style set? Hmm, that's a really good question. It's actually, you know, season pass is, I gotta be honest, very personal opinion here. I'm not a fan of season passes because I feel like if you buy a season pass, you don't really know what you're getting. Yeah, then there's not always this upfront commitment as to exactly what you're going to get. I, I won't mention a, a, a name, but I've bought one in the past, but actually additional things have come out after. Uh, it wasn't even, it was within a year, I think, and I, I still don't know yet having season pass. So there can be this kind of yeah. uncertainty, you know, you're never quite sure of your, your deal. Exactly, and I always feel like, for me personally, I just prefer buying DLCs when they come out, you know, and knowing what I get and buying into it at that point. That said, if, if this is something that, that the community would like to see, and if there's, if there's a way for us to do a season pass setup that would make sense and that would be fair and, and transparent, we might look into it. You know, I wouldn't say I wouldn't say never to it, but um, I'm not a fan of it personally. So that's, that's all I can do. That's a good point. Yeah. That's a good point, Tom. I haven't really thought of that. No. I, I think it's great that Tom is here to really share light on these issues. Yeah. You know, there were some rumors that Tom might be bailing on the live stream today. So glad he, he did. He was, he was so glad of, he's here. He was kind of non-committal all week. And, you know, we're glad he did at least make it. Put me down for maybe. maybe. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's all going wrong. Oh boy. So this is the, the escape part. I love that the objective is just escape. <laughs> it's just so funny. And it literally is just, you have to run out. And what's funny here is that you're running through these, uh, these corridors you're probably gonna see it in just a moment. We've got these uh, these iron bars that just come out of nowhere. It's going, nope, you're not going this way, and they pop up randomly, so you actually don't know where they're gonna pop up. So it, it adds that bit of like, oh, there we go, <laughs> called it. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Another question from oh, I'm losing my voice. So. I'm gonna take a break as soon as. All right. I guess we should do we should do the next giveaway yeah. first, yeah. and then we'll then we'll take a break, which yeah. is what we said last giveaway too. <laughs> Bjorn van der Sand asks or says that music is awesome. Will you release it somewhere like the original OSC? Yes, we will. Uh, I've actually just recently been uh, compiling the soundtrack and kind of the new soundtracks and stuff like that, and trying to get those both out with the collector's edition and seeing where else we can get those. I know. We had requests of getting the soundtrack up on Spotify and services like that. I would love to do that. I think it would, it would be really great. So if that's something that you'd like to see, let us know. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to get all the soundtracks out pretty soon. Um, I'll say one thing about doing that is you, 
when we make music for the game, it typically... I've got to stop looking at the scenery. That's my, that's my that biggest beef. So one of the things is like, when we hey. mix... Oh. <laughs> what are the odds? That was beautiful. <laughs> when we mix the music for the game, we mix it so that it is, um, it's very loopable. So typically what you get is you get this like, maybe 30 second track where the ending can loop into the beginning or loop into another section like of itself. And so when you listen to it, just like a, a standalone track, oh, it doesn't no. always sound that great. You know, you've got that kind of, it doesn't feel like a, a track, it feels like it's missing something. And so typically what we do for when we put out a soundtrack to be like a standalone thing, we really want to mix them so that they feel like complete tracks rather than just, um, you know, in-game music. So that's something we're going to have to do beforehand. I know that uh, Jonas, one of our sound guys, was, was talking about that the other day and that he was looking into that. So maybe if he's done already and we can get we can get stuff out on Spotify, then that'd be cool. That would be great. Why not? Oh, you got a new bow. Whoop, whoop, whoop. And because this is a perfect run, if you didn't get any loot dice, you got two grims and three tomes. <gasps> That's a glaive at the top. Ladies and gentlemen, can we please... Can you share your energy of loot rolling awesomeness in the chat? Share your energy with Leo. Glaive at the top. Isn't it? It looks like a one-handed hammer. Oh, my uh, two-handed hammer. It might be. I didn't even push the roll. Oh, it's a jilted roll. A six. It's a bright wizard sword, I believe. No, it's two-handed sword. Surely. I've been wrong like three times in a row now. Yes, I'm oh. right! <laughs> yes! Thank you, Tom. <laughs> Here in spirit. In spirit. Oh, that's awesome. I'm using two and a sword for the witch hunt right now. I really like it. Nice. Thank you very much, guys. That was a great run. That was really good. I, I did very little. But, uh... So I think what we're going to do now is we're going we're gonna to leave this party and uh, let some other people join us. We've taken a short break just in a bit. We're going to do the giveaway when we come back. Actually, I think hmm. what we'll do now, we'll just take a short break. Don't go anywhere. When we come back, we're going to do the giveaway once again. We're doing another giveaway every 15 minutes. We're going to keep this stream going for as long as we can until we all, until you're all tired of listening to me talk. <laughs> and Leo is uh, done with the levels, I suppose. Yeah. Okay, so don't go anywhere. We'll be back in just a moment. And by the way, check out this awesome trailer that we just put out for a nice. DLC we released yesterday. Wink, wink. That's not the trailer. <laughs> Castle Drakenfels, as evil a lump of stone as ever was laid. So, this wizard, Drakenfels, he was among the worst of the worst, from what I've heard. No man has entered Castle Drakenfels for twenty years, but as you should know by now, the vermin are no men. Back on the stream, Mr. Hedge has left the room, he's gone out for a break, and uh, we're going to be doing another spin of the giveaway wheel. Um, this time, what are we giving away this time? Uh, let's do one Drakenfels key and one Schlusseslaus key separately. Ooh. Of course, Exciting. you uh, you get a uh, hat as well. You got a hat as well. So, uh, one key for the Drakenfels DLC coming up, and one key for the Schlusseslaus, aka the Fall DLC. Definitely be a part of this DLC or this giveaway. And the hashtag for now is where's hedge? Where is okay. hedge? Where, where is hedge? Damn it. Let's, we're going we're gonna to pop that up on the screen so you know how to spell it. Around for me. I know, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just messing this up. Where is hedge? We never plan our, our streams beforehand, really. We, we lose plan, but it's more exciting to keep it different every time. I'm going to do Where's Leo if it, if it won't fit on the screen. Well, yeah. I can just make it smaller. Okay. <laughs> Xplit is kind of dumb in how it handles. Whoa, whoa, text. whoa. Xplit is the best. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. Where is Hedge is the hashtag. Bottom left corner. Drop that in the chat if you want to be a part of the giveaway this time. And we're giving away a DLC key for Dragonfell's DLC key for the full. Get your hashtags in. Be a follower of our Twitch channel or you won't be able to win. We cannot send you a key if you're not following us. That would be very sad indeed if you won and couldn't actually get it. 
do it for about five more seconds. As soon as Hedge shows up again, we're gonna start the giveaway. Da -da. Da -da. There we go, ladies and gentlemen, the giveaway wheel is... Oh, oh no, oh. casualty! Cut the stream, get him to a hospital! <laughs> Mr. Botsford. Oh, Tam Botsford. Tam Botsford, everybody. Not quite, Tom. <laughs> what are we rolling for? We're oh, rolling stuff. for what giveaway. Take it away, Leon. Nice. I, gotta, I gotta not talk for a second. Fair enough. We have a hat. An awesome, awesome hat. And that's going to Kibobi. Kibobi. Congratulations and uh, thanks for joining us this evening. Obi-Wan Kibobi. Oh, yes. We'll spin the wheel again. Uh, and it's a hat. It's a hat. And that's for Kalur. Congratulations. And thank you for joining us on this Friday evening for this bonus, bonus stream. Thank you. We have... Oh, it's another hat. And this hat goes to poor fans. This is so rigged. This is bullshit. Poor fans, <laughs> congratulations. That'll be in your mailbox within five, ten minutes. This is amazing. Switch out time. <laughs> That's super funny. That is great. Oh, it's, it's a Schlusser Schloss key. Fantastic spelling there. It's not rigged after all. It's not rigged. <laughs> and that's for uh, Letalida. Letalida. Thank you very much for joining us. And uh, that'll be in your mailbox soon. I think that's misspelled, actually. What? Is it? I think it is. Oh, it's Schluel. <laughs> now listen here, you. <laughs> yeah, you know, you're correct. It's absolutely murdered. That's it's murdered it. We have to do that again. Uh, did we give the last one away? Yeah. You sure? Yeah, it was to uh, Letalida. Okay, yeah. okay. I, I, thought we, I thought we missed a click. That's fine. Maybe we did. Did we miss a click? <laughs> Everyone else will know. Uh, yeah, we did, actually. We did, yeah. So the last hat, right? Yeah. Went to Fieldspire. Fieldspire! Thank you for joining us in there. That will should be in your mailbox soon. Soon. Uh, soon. 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 And then the final. Do we spin? Do we spin? This is the spin, and it's oh, it's a Drakenfell's key. Nice. <laughs> That's what it's spelled to. <laughs> wow. Plot twist. Plot twist. That's a different DLC. <laughs> dun -dun 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 -dun. And that goes to. Cowboy Curtis. Cowboy Curtis. <laughs> Congratulations. That'll be in your mailbox within, well, who knows, knowing Blondie at the moment. If you get your name right, it'll be there within the next few minutes. Thank you very much for joining us on this Friday PM. I can't believe you fell. I know. He's probably been drinking all day or something. Yeah. Do you want to swap? Should I do some playing? Sure. Do some playing. Do some playing. I'll try it with the gamepad. I like, haven't played we with have, the gamepad. We have a party full already. Mm. Oh, hey, guys. We have Lord Abaddon Eze Ezekiel. It's quite a cool name. I swap characters. Uber. He has absolutely no gift. I'm not going to play that. <laughs> did we get what? What did we just get? Oh yeah, no, the witch I'm just taken. I'm okay with that. We have Lord. Oh, he's level three. Lord Abaddon, welcome to the game, man. Mm. What's in the basement? <gasps> Danan. Danan. We have add playable Skaven, please. I'm not sure if that's a name or a suggestion. <gasps> He's seen the light. Uh oh. Uh oh. Leave him. We gotta leave him I'm down there. Done. We can't talk about that now. Seems How do we, like you're finally we swap ready. like a gamepad? A huh? How do you do this? It's tricky. There we go. Okay. Which one should we do? Summers? Well, we, we, we gotta go in order, right? While you're there, the okay. okay. I think we're gonna go for. Kind of should we do hard again? Castle. I think you should. You're more than capable. Let's do it. No, with the gamepad, evidently. I haven't played with the gamepad for ages. It's tough. I completely forgotten the controls for this. It's tough. I like. I quite enjoy playing with the gamepad. I just. I always forget it's, the controls. It's, it's a different vibe. I find mm. it a little bit more relaxed, and that can often be to my own or my team's detriment. Good <laughs> question about achie achievements there from the great old one. Oh yes. Why no difficulty related to achievements for the new maps? Mm. That's a good question. That is a good question. That would be a fun thing. Mm. You know, I think achievements is definitely something that we might want to be adding more uh, mm. of in the future. I mean, I know a lot of people really like sort of chasing those down. Yeah. And um, they added a, sort of a, a kind of an alternate way of, of adding replayability as well as, you know, challenging yourself to do things. So, yeah, good idea. Good idea. I like it. All right. It's an alarm. Bear with me. Time to get up, Leo. Time to get up. It is. It's sometimes I take little evening snoozes and that makes <laughs> sure that I... Uh, yeah, you do, really? Yeah, sometimes. Yeah, I'm getting old, so... I, I knew a guy once who... Um, he used to go. He used to sleep at like, like six in the evening, 
You wake up at ten. You'd be awake for four hours, and you sleep again for four hours. This is really weird. Like That's sleep. It's an odd cycle. I'm not sure what that was all about. Our all right. Story is not yet finished. Beautiful. The Check path of woe. Check out the level bit here. I would do some shout casting, but I have a terrible shout cast. Make a request. Yeah. Can you turn on subtitles? I can indeed. think we can't hear that clanking. It's in audio settings. Hi. Yeah, I knew that. <laughs> I, I have no idea. <laughs> we'll get there. It's always there. I always, I always get confused with subtitles settings. Uh, I can't change the FOV of that. So. No, I don't actually. I would like to change it out. Yes, that's handy. I like that. That's a really nice. Well, actually, that's something that a lot of people haven't. I've had to point people towards quite a few mm. times. They've suggested that we always have the outlines on and actually the options there. Um, yeah. Because you have outlines on and then you have outlines always on. Exactly. So yeah. It can be a little hidden, but it's there. Mm. I would do some shout casting, but I can't say I'm the best at it. Do it. Mm. Ladies and gentlemen, we got a gutter runner coming out. He's going for the we're enemies. Wrecked. The heroes. <laughs> He's wrecked. Get wrecked. It's like Blood Bowl if it were uh, a lower budget. <laughs> <laughs> Off with his head, nice. Yay. Some more beautiful vistas here as well. This is this is what I got distracted doing the other day during playtesting, which is probably not what you should be doing when you're actually uh, testing the game. But is this someone's peak? It is. I haven't played this one yet. You haven't? Spoilers! Turn the stream off. <laughs> Cancel. Canceling Whoa, the stream. We're getting owned from behind. Oh, it's a true flight. Beautiful. How do you dodge? Oh there we go. Yeah, it's happy. I take my question back. <laughs> Make sure these guys are dead. Death. Oof. So, uh. Limbs. When we were EGX mm -hmm. last year. Oh, we uh, got a new slot actually. So somebody can join us now if you Whoa, want. Whoa, Welcome. No. 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 Rami was always here. No. This is going wrong very, very quickly. Save us, Lord Abaddon. Save us. Oh, wow, the dwarf. <laughs> oh, nice one. Good, good job, man. Good play, good play. Speaking of you uh, uh, murdering rats, they're already dead. Last year when we were at EGX, uh, we had uh, this kid. Where is this story going? This is interesting. Kid that yeah. tr he tried to uh, play the game. Mm -hmm. uh, well, he succeeded at playing the game. But his mum was there, so it was fine. Uh, and he <laughs> killed one of the pigs in front of Magnus. He killed one of the pigs in front of Magnus. He was dead. And he c continued to hit it. Uh -huh. Like for like <laughs> 20 <laughs> seconds. Wow. And one of our producers, Robert, was like, uh, I, th I think it's dead. And he was like, Yeah, but it's still bleeding. <laughs> oh, <laughs> man. Nice. Oh, wow. The Goodness. kids of today. Pigs do bleed. <laughs> kids of today are too ambitious. These so, what's the situation right now? It's messy. Actually, over there, the you can see the castle. Once again, so we've traveled a bit further away this time. Is it noisy? <laughs> Be right back. So we're in our in our streaming studio right now, which is actually located in the basement of our office building, and um, we've got our kind of server racks just outside, which have some epic fans, which sound a lot. We're having to rotate between open and close. It's quite warm in here. Screw this one. Nice. If only I had a glaive. This is some nice Skaven tech. Mm. Pretty cool. I think I, we got one, one guy spawned down here. Go ahead. No one there. No block. Is he? He's on the other side. Oh boy, I have to do the event without him. Luck, gentlemen. I actually saw, uh, so these these gates here are going to be blocking our progress. We cannot actually progress here. You have to blow those up, right? Yeah, exactly. That's the objective. I saw... So Daniel just now, our lead level designer, he was experimenting with this and adding so that if <laughs> if you stand there, a packmaster spawns. No, <laughs> he, was, he was experimenting with uh, having the Skaven die if they walk through that. It's so, like he was just putting that together just now. So that would be that's kind of a cool thing. Is that going to be a thing? I don't know. He was just experimenting with it. See how it feels. Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this lever. So these are the generators that power the well, all the tech you see around you, which kind of keep the portal active. Right? So, I can, you know, turning that off or cranking it up to 11 perhaps will uh, cause them to overheat. And as you see, they're surrounded by water, which I think is in a vain attempt to kind of keep them cool. Mm. So they're going to see the scave and come down now and try and uh, cool off their generators. Cool it, guys. 
like a violent oh, gender confusion. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's kind of, it is a bit of a reverse Wellwatch situation going on here. Where instead of us defending something from being attacked, we have to defend it from being saved or rescued. 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 Bless you. Or swing vicious poop. Yeah. Don't hurry into death, oh, we have a question. Rats chat. Hello there, rats. Welcome to the stream. How many tomes are there in the dungeons? Oh, that's uh, that's interesting. We should probably let Tom answer that one. That many? Who knew? Really? I didn't know that. I'm glad rats know that. Probably shouldn't have told anybody about that. It's a bit of a secret. Yeah, it's kind of a spoiler. Yeah, I kind of regret having Tom ask Yeah, that. I mean, maybe... Should we tell him now? Probably best. Throw them off. No, because they're mostly the, the technology used to create the scaven tank. <laughs> the scaven tank that was used to resurrect Tom. Zombie Tom. Yeah. Zom Batsford. Zom Zom Batsford. Zom Batsford. Oh boy. How's it going? Where's the grenade button? Oh no! Oh. Oh man, this is this is legendarily terrible. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna try hard this. Guys, don't go anywhere. Oh, oh the beautiful. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> Almost what? Almost off. Oh, the edge. Nice. No! It's difficult Damn when it. it's quiet, right? Damn it. We can't hear what's going on, you see. Oh. Right. Nice new question coming in. S Dives asks Is there going to be any more banter or lore between the characters? I mean, yes. 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 There Absolutely. definitely is. We have. Um, we should be having, in two weeks' time, we've got another Meet the Dev stream where we're going to be bringing Magnus, who is our game writer. And he will be talking about the lore and the writing and about the, the kind of voiceovers and the work that goes into that. Mm. So he'll probably be able to answer some more questions on that. I think so. So should we do should we do a retry with these guys or should we host a new game and get some new people in it? What do you think? I think we should give some new people a uh, Okay. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna do that. We're gonna give some new people a go. Thanks for playing, so, guys. Uh, thank yeah, thank you so much. Sorry for dying. It's not easy. My bad. That's a really tough level, though. That's tricky. I'm going to swap now to the Witch Hunter and try out that two-headed sword. Nice. Yeah, Fresh loot. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay. Mr. Is he your new flavor of the month? He kind of is, yeah. <laughs> we got one of the same people joined again. <laughs> that was quick. All right, I'm okay with that. Am I, am I not going to get the Witch Hunter now? That's the question. No, I'm the Witch Hunter. All right, we're just waiting for the people to load in here. Who's your flavour of the month, Tom? Oh. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! That wasn't right. These things happen. Hmm. Interesting. When you're live, anything can happen. Interesting. Need we say more? There's there's a crash we're going to be looking into tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. We wrote that one down, right? Yeah. yeah. We do have a new a new question from Ben. Time out, Alex. Six, one, seven, eight. What is the elf's backstory slash curse? I don't know the answer. If you check out Romantai.com, you can actually read up a bit on the heroes. Hmm. And uh, we've got some limited information there. And you can check the wiki, I believe, has a bit more stuff going on as well. Um, aside from that, you're going to have to kind of find out. She's a bit uh, she's a bit mysterious. And this story isn't over yet. so Definitely not. There's a... Uh, more to come. It's more than just a backstory. There's a front story too. I suppose. Story goes in all directions. Yes. <laughs> story goes in all directions. Okay, we got some people joining instantly. I think. Is that kind of bugged out from that crash? It's possible. It's still very fresh. People joining at the same time. It could be. Could be. Hmm. What other gear do we have? Oh, quite a bit of stuff. Oh, this is my favorite gun too. Oh, yes. Oh, he's so cool. We have to swap that hat, though. That's not cool enough. <laughs> then you have the, you surely have the collector's edition. I am. Oh, Let's see. Oh, no. Only one hat. What did you do with all your hats, Blondie? What did I do with my collector's edition hats? Oh, dear. That's weird. Maybe I don't have, Maybe I don't have the collector's edition. <laughs> you should buy it. It's on sale. Hmm. Can we just go ahead and join a random game or we'll try restarting this. This looks a bit weird. Looks like So Dyer asks, is there going to be any mini transactions? Question for you alone. No. <laughs> no transactions. 
No, not microtransactions. What's a mini transaction? Slightly I think they're slightly bigger, bigger than a microtransaction. Micro I'm gonna have to start quantifying these. <laughs> okay, let's give that another go. What's going on with this machine? Awkward! Awkward. At least we have music on in the background. At least we have Tom in the background. How's the giveaway looking? Is the timer run out now? Um, looks like it. Did we start on it? I think yeah. we, yeah, we did. We're Seven, professionals. I like how my t-shirt is semi-transparent. The houses in the back. Yeah. Kind of like change the web browser's <laughs> texture. Can you stand up one time? Can I? Yeah, could you? I, I could. I just want to see how it looks. What the t shirt? You can see. Oh, you want to see how it looks like? Oh, that's stupid. Never mind. I don't even have legs. <laughs> that's the whole point of shots fire. <laughs> we, got, we got two people joining in. I don't know what is going on. I have like network issues on this machine or something. So let's. Let me go ahead and just host a level. We'll see what happens. See if anybody can join in. Um, yeah, let's do some speaking. Put this on. Here we go. Oh no, there we go. Okay. Let's put something with the matchmaking. Just like plug that up for a second. Nice. Roll on to your page. Grim Wraith 32. Welcome. While we're waiting, you could answer a question. They just appear. It's yeah. kind of magical. I know. Well, Abby asks, will you make improvements on how the trinkets are obtained? I mean, we are... It's no secret that we're working on a whole new way of mm. obtaining items. Um, quest system. The quests and contract system. Um, which, it was due out yesterday, I believe, originally. It was our yeah. original plan. But um, we're having to go back and do some reworking on that and just making sure it feels right, it works right, and all that. You know... It's it is right to, to you know to be shipped out. Mm. Um, I think we're pretty close. I yeah, it's, it's getting like, there. It is getting there. Yeah. So we'll, I mean, we what we need to do is kind of go back and, and reiterate on a couple of things. Uh, some parts of the system just weren't working as we wanted them to, and we, we really wanted to take another pass and really make sure that it was uh, that it was as good as it could be. So it's going to take a little longer than initially expected, but uh, it's going to be worth the wait. Mm. So yes, is the answer. Okay. I'm still a bit confused as to what's going on here. The Skaven are. Well, right. I'm just gonna try. try to start. I'm just gonna try joining another game instead. Can't you just leave party and see if it works to have some other people rejoin? Rejoining fresh. Do about that Grim Wraith? All right, this looks better. Okay, join us. Grim Wraith. No, it's who am I again? And Grim I think that's probably from the other game. The chat stays. Oh, oh there he is. What? There he is again. Yeah, but well, what happens is the chat stays between oh, yeah. sessions. I forgot that. So that would be his uh, his other... Hey, mm. seems to be a bit more like it. Timo Time YouTube. Is that a channel we should be shouting out, shout out, shout outing? Shout out, yeah. shout out to Timo Time YouTube. M Night Shout Out Element. It depends if you've made uh, any videos about Vermintide. But what if YouTube was not? Just all the memes. The Skaven are active. <laughs> he has. What's that? He has made a, a video on Vermintide. Oh, cool. Nice. Can we get his, uh, his channel up? Uh, or her. Well, I don't know if it's a him or her. It's Timo Time. Timo time! Timo time. Check out the channel, Timo time. It's done a, an awesome Vermintide video that we haven't seen. I'm sure it's good. Like and subscribe. But, but Timo time is not hitting ready here, so. Come on, Timo. You can do it! Shoot you. <laughs> Standard. Oh, yes. Lord Robert Qu Quirt. Uncle Sam! So is you... there not a Y missing at the end of that? It sounds like there should be a Y at the end of that. Maybe. No. Yeah. <laughs> Lord Robert Quirt. His cousin not be a real person or a dwarven folk hero like Uncle Sam. That's actually quite an interesting question. And a bit insulting. Yeah. Um, I think we'll find out more about this. I'm think... surprised that anybody even needs to ask if he's real or not. Yeah, I mean, he wouldn't be proud of that question. 
And I mean, why would you have a t-shirt that says you're with him? Why would there be a t-shirt that says I'm with Okri? That you can barely see. <laughs> if there was no Okri. I think we'll be finding out more about him. We will definitely be hearing more of Cousin Okri in the future. <laughs> Florpin Colonnate asks, will I be able to use my hard-won red weapon skins on weapons that I have customised traits for? No giving up, no. It's a good question. Um, I mean, I think weapons are, and, and the traits are something we're always looking at. Mm. Um, I think there are definite improvements to be made to some of those and, and some of the ways they feel and trying to, trying to make, you know, the skins yeah, perhaps... You know, a little, a little more. You know, have a bit more juice behind the skin. So in terms of like the uh, the items damage and output and stuff like that. So I don't know exactly what's planned. Um, I know we have people looking at weapons all the time. Like we, we even mentioned earlier on, a lot of the one-handers are being revised right now. So uh, the weapons themselves aren't really fixed. They're, they're not baked for life. So do expect some changes to the, those over over the course of development. Over the course of development. Absolutely. We're always open to feedback there as well. Mm. We're nearing up on the next giveaway, aren't we? Yeah. <gasps> giveaway time. It's giveaway time? I just five to past giveaway. Just need to prepare the wheel. Prepare the wheel. What we need to do is we have to we have to spin the wheel up. What do we have? Oh, I got a really flu. We actually have to load the prizes into the wheel, yeah. otherwise. It's, it's manual. It's wheel. manual too. Yeah. Like Quite heavy prizes as well, some of them. Oh, he's not done. Oh, yes. So what's in the wheel this time, Blondie? This time we're giving away. Oh. Giving away one copy of the base game. Nice. And one copy of the Drakenfels DLC. Drakenfels. Nice. Just released yesterday. Dropping like it's hot. <laughs> You're so white. <laughs> <laughs> the insulting is real. That's harsh. <laughs> I like Snoop Dogg. How's the wheel coming? I was about Blondie. to say something there, but you know, <laughs> Liam is very aware of what I was going to say. No, I didn't. Should. Stay away. I actually don't know. Whoa! Oh, did you see that? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, nice. so what's the hashtag for. He's one? still bleeding! <laughs> um, hashtag Will Liam Win. I haven't lost so far. Anyone fancy a it's debatable. Why are you looking at me like that, Tom? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Will Liam win? See, this is a weapon I understand, right? What you want to do with the two-handed sword, you get those charged attacks in, and as soon as you see that you're not going to have time to hit in time, dodge away or push. And occasionally you get the light swings in, just for like some speed. That's the traditional damage. Yeah. Oh, I just got Has that been rolled? Or is that old loot? It's old loot. It's old loot. Roll the wheel! <laughs> Rolls outside the stream. So yes, hashtag will Liam win. To win either a, a badass hat. A copy of... Schlusselschloss? Is that or not part of this? We no, away. no, no Schlusselschloss. See, it's the old loops on the wheel, it's very confusing. Ah, right. Drakenfels on base game and stuff, right? Yeah. yeah. So, will Liam win? Throw your hashtags up now. How are we looking for hashtags? Just as William win, but with three L's. <laughs> That's true, yeah. <laughs> That is true. William Wynn should be Is Liam Wynn. Is Liam Wynn, that's the appropriate What is kill? Oof. There's the new fire effect we just added. Oh, that is nice. That is gorgeous. Remember, if you want to be a part of the giveaway, you have to be a follower of our Twitch channel. Yeah. It's amazing. I think, this, I think our soldier is running the devastating blow. That's right. Shot. Not dead yet. 
That was a snort. That means it's legit. <laughs> okay, giveaway is about to begin. It's about the wheel. This is all you. We have. Oh, first up, Drakenfell's key, and that goes to Rain Conman. Congratulations and thanks for joining us. Uh, you also get a hat as well, which is pretty awesome. Um, should be in your mailbox. Five, ten minutes. Spinning the wheel again. And it's a hat. And this goes to Genesis SOC. Congratulations. And that new hat will be with you shortly. And thanks for spending your Friday with us. Seems the main uh, Roy in Smash Brothers. Maybe that's not Roy. Yeah, Talking avatars now. Don't know. Don't need this. Pretty cool IT. Look. <laughs> <laughs> I am IT. The joke is, bloody is it. We're spinning the wheel. And this hat goes to Fuse Kerberos. Congratulations. Thanks for joining us. Oh, spinning there we the wheel go. again. We're well, spinning the wheel. Well, look at uh, this. And that's a base copy of Vermintide. And that's going to... Cruel Yes. Cruel Wolt. Wolt. Wolt, if you are English. Congratulations. Um, your copy of Vermintide and a new hat will be on their way too shortly. Can you go ahead and activate Toggle Crash, which is a new option we've added. Nice. Kind of makes more sense for me with the gamepad. Spinning the wheel, we have a hat. This, <laughs> this awesome hat will be going to Apple Snuff, which is an awesome name. Congratulations, that new hat will be with you soon, and thanks for joining us and for clicking the follow button. The last one. The last one is a hat. It's a hat for sure, and that's going to. Dongtaz, congratulations on your awesome new hat. Nice it's, it's possible. But we don't mind. You can have two hats, give them to your friend. Hats for all. Well, not everyone. You have to win. Or subscribe, or bombs for all here. community button. All of those things. They're all different hats. I can't say they're all the same. Because they're not. <laughs> just clarifying. Truth. Yeah. Healing oh. Did you just juke? Or did you drop something? No, I, I, um... Just what? Yeah, I dropped something. So I, oh. so I had a, I had a healing kit already. Ah. And, uh, or healing supplies. And so I decided to, um, chug a healing draft first. Watch out for the fire. Ah, it burns! Just up How do you tag with a game home? Uh, you hit the, I think it's the left bumper. How's it going? We're doing okay, yeah. I think we're. Uh... Oh, I'll take it back. <laughs> I, uh, I, I, I non take it back. We're doing good, I think. It's a suspicious hole here. That is. A curious thing. So as I'm writing, I mean, I'm writing saying I've only got to this point a couple of times and mm. failed shortly after. But actually, is this generator only defensible from range? Um. So. Oops. So yes, it is actually. The part up there. Chums, friends. Chums. Get in the sea. Get in the sea. <laughs> We run up here. So we're gonna check it out. So that generator is indeed not. You cannot reach it. But ranged weaponry is going to stop the enemies. And there's a conveniently placed ammo box. And that always. Yeah, it's just over here. It's always there. So it's gonna help you out with those situations. The tricky part here is that you've got a lot of kind of easy to fall down locations. Tell me about it. So you wanna you wanna really stay uh, in a smart position at all times. This is oh, meaty. Oh. <laughs> and you're vegetarian, right? Look at that. Yeah. How does this feel? It's good. <laughs> 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 
Why do you have to be there? <laughs> <laughs> Reference fan. Whoa! Took me a while. Look at that. That is so funny. Oh, something about sending my dolls flying. It just never gets old. Right, so I pull the lever. And that's going to start spawning enemies from the portal and from kind of the rear as well. So we can be on that side. They're kind of running down this way, I think. I'm going to go ahead and just try to defend the portal with it. Probably a good idea. We get up here because this is where this is a ledge where they typically try to jump up. And like that, when you just decapitate the guy in the middle. Shot him too. Sounded expensive. Go on, you just drop the stream on the floor. No! Drop the bottom of my oh, no. mark. Look at that. Whoa. Look at this guy. Hang on. It's good. <laughs> This guy flew from the generator, did you see that? I didn't see it, no, I was, I was, I was busy shifting what bloody broke. I'm having too much fun with the wagons. Do you know where it was? Is that a question for Liam? <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh. Macro transactions. No! Stop! Oh no. So, I just say once and for all, uh, we really want to try to keep our monetization models, if you will, as far as we can. It's one of the reasons why Dragonfells is hostable by purchasing but joinable without. And we really want to try to do everything we can to keep the community from being split up, to having no pay to win elements, and to having in this fair DLC policy as possible. We are not interested in a microtransaction model for the time. That's the situation. Oh my Sigma. <laughs> that, that was, was an amazing grab. That like, whoa! whoa. That was right, Tomb Raider level stuff. Look at him. He's fine. If this was Tomb Raider, I could climb up. <laughs> yeah, this is true. But this is a co-op game. <laughs> He's just looking at you. Lol. You alright down there, lad? Yeah, well, I can't question. Uh, Yukiwo asks, do you deal any damage when you get the clink oh while hitting an armoured enemy? Not. It's also a special effect for that, so if you see this kind of blue um, spark, I guess. Yeah. And this guy is just hitting on me. <laughs> but he likes you. Yeah, no, the blue splashing effect. I don't like you. It's like the, <laughs> the effect of armor basically yeah. deflecting the damage. Yes, I bet I was struggling. Oh, I'm owned. I would. Oh, I should have drank my. my, uh, my uh, just drank drank potion. Yes. My speed potion. <laughs> drank the speed potion. Oh, my. oh no. Oh. Oh man. He's just. Oh. He's like. He's gonna crawl away. <laughs> oh. Where? Uh, so, Tem. Tem. Tak. Heth. Tem. I can't even say. He's right here. That's Geth. Tem. Tom's Tom's right Geth. Here. Asks, where is Tom? He's right, right here. Hello. Where is? We lost again. We lost again. All right. But this is Tom. This is as good as we're going to get today. Um, yeah. And he's as good as ever. Yeah. I'm going to leave the game, and we're going to get some new people in. And hopefully we won't get that weird um, weird joining bug this time. Yeah, that was strange. Yeah. We should probably pick up Tom again. That was a bit, that was a bit that was harsh. <laughs> Come back to us, Tom. Okay, guys, if you want to join us for a new game... Feel free to join in. The reason why we're, we're kind of shifting things up a bit, we're going to give some different people a chance to play. Who am I? Is this like the quickest person at joining here? Bazoga asks, So, how do I join a game with the new levels? All ongoing games seem to be locked for me, or do I have to be part of the group before the level starts? Uh, being a part of the group is going to help. Um, otherwise, it's if you get an invite from a friend or like join somebody on your friends list. That's the best way, effectively. You can also check out the group chat on Steam, and you can find people to play with. Or check out the Discord channel, yeah, which yeah. we have a link in the community section on our website. You can check that out there. I'm sure you can find some nice people who uh, will host the game for you. Yeah, I mean, I've seen it today. There are lots of people sharing out, you know, I've got the DLC who wants to join, who hasn't mm. yet bought it, you know, who wants yeah. to check out the level. So joining a lot of our community places, even through the Steam forums, you'll find people absolutely willing to, uh, to pick you up and take you along a cool new journey. Yes, for sure. Mm. I think one of the absolute perks that we have with Vermintide and being a, a co-op game as well is that we have a really friendly community. Hmm. People are very willing to uh, kind of go the extra mile to help each other. <laughs> Did the Empire Soldier just jump over me? I didn't listen. Did you uh, answer this one? Yes. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> right, 
Viking. Oh, I haven't read it up. Viking K. Viking Koo. Uh, any plans for bot commands, keeping tomes, healing, etc. Mm. So, it's something I've been talking about quite a lot recently um, with some of our game designers. And I think when it comes to sort of bot commands, it may be something we're not so sure about. Because actually, the how useful that would be given the current technology employed with the bots. Um, it may not actually be a, a great deal of benefit. Um, when it comes to sort of keeping tomes and stuff, I mean, tomes and grims are kind of really pushed as a cooperative element. Things that you should, things that are best sort of found and kept, like grims, but playing with friends, actually playing with live players. Yeah. Um, I think trying to allow bots to take on some of those roles is something we're, we're not so keen on, on pushing because we want people to play with people. Um, but it is something we're looking at is actually making perhaps the bots a little more, what's the word? A little more human in some of their behaviors. So, you know, trying to look at some of the priorities they have, um, things like that um, are definitely things we're, we're, we're considering and, and, and looking at sort of adjusting to make those times when you are, when you do have a bot with you, you know, a little less crazy, I suppose. Or a, little, a little less frustrating, so. Yes, we will be looking at the bot. Where are these guys going? As for commands, um, it's not necessarily something we'll be doing. So, um, who knows? And there's a lot of things we've said we wouldn't do that we have, and there's a lot of things we said we would do that haven't and won't. So, you know, that's the thing of game design. It's quite a dynamic and fluid thing, and, and as time goes on, things will change. So. It also takes a lot of time. It does take a lot of time. Um, it would be a fundamental change, so. and we're quite a small team. Really? Yeah, we are, absolutely. The dwarf left. Oh, okay. Rage quit. Oh, yes, this looks suspicious. <laughs> nice trap. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Grim. He's rolling down the stairs. Oh, he's gone. <laughs> There's really nice detail on these levels as well, you know, just with like, um, oof, these guys. Mm. Now shoot it in the face. Dark Phoenix 777 asks, what would happen if I gave steroids to a rat owner? <laughs> <laughs> Only bad, bad things, yep. I think, is the answer to that. Um, they, um, what it means it is, I think, um, I'm trying to pump them up with gym juice is probably, <laughs> probably not something I'd recommend. <laughs> oh. yeah, a lot of decapitations with this weapon. Oh, still alive. Are you sure? Only one way to find it. Quaxo1 asks, is there something you wanted to do that didn't make it into the game? Um, I'm probably the wrong person to answer that because I've only been a full of months. So, is there anything you wanted to do, Liam? Or, it, it's or Blondie? One thing that we talked about recently, which is it's kind of funny, that we, we talked about adding a mechanic that's actually made it into this level uh, a long time ago, which is the darkness mechanic. It's something that we talked about adding uh, way back in release, and I know our game director, Anders, was very kind of. Um, he was pushing for that a lot, and it was something he wanted to do, and we experimented with it early on. It just wasn't quite there, and we didn't quite have the time to get it into release. So that is that is a case of a feature like that, which we revisited later on, and have now actually added, which is what we're looking at right now. So um, that is dark. That's a feature like that, which uh, which is also very nice. I mean, that's one of the one of the benefits of supporting a game and continuing. Like, we are very blessed in the fact that we are able to keep supporting the game that we've. We've sold enough copies to kind of let us continue being independent, continue supporting the game. Um, and that's giving us a lot of freedom to go back to some of these really cool ideas, but also incorporating new stuff, suggestions from communities, and all that stuff. So it's, um, it's, it's really nice for us to be able to, to expand that with things still. We do have a giveaway coming up in... I get stuck uh, on me. As for me... Uh, one thing I wanted from like the very beginning, and, like when we started getting looped into the game, Tom's uh, beard. What, yeah, Tom's beard as an uh, unlockable hat. Uh, <laughs> it's coming hat. next week. I love it. Uh, no, it's not. Uh, don't so take you're fired, but yeah, I'm fired. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, but something that is coming is the quest in contact system, mm. which I I had an idea for something. Mm. We, we probably everyone has had an idea for something like that, but mine was a lot worse. <laughs> than, <laughs> I love it. Than, than what is actually coming out. It's good so, already. Uh, I'm quite happy with what's coming out. Mm. Can you tell us about it, Roger? Or are you just like, are you done with that now? Well, it was just like quests that gave you salvage tokens that you could and and you could use the salvage tokens to craft. So my idea included Sigmar's blessing as well. But mm. it, like, it's not as fun as the current one. The sure. boons and stuff. Yeah, I mean the quest is we're gonna have. It's gonna be a ton of different types of rewards. So you can get both specific items. You're gonna be able to get boons, which is like temporary buffs, as Blondie mentioned. And you will also be able to get tokens through quests and contracts. Um, but the bigger quests will mainly be focused around like, items, you know, getting trinkets, hats, uh, new weapons, that kind of stuff. Kind of longer quest lines, if you will, uh, which require you to do a lot of different contracts. I'm hoping that we can start sharing some more info on the quest and contract system again in the not too distant future. Um, what hashtag shall we choose? I think you can think of one, Brody. I think it's short term. What should we do? Hashtag Drachenfels. Hashtag Hashtag Schlüsselschloss Drachenfels. <laughs> yeah, Schlüsselschloss would be brilliant. Because if people can spell it, they could probably do so. Mm. Oh, he's found the Grimoire. So yes, to enter this one, this wheel. Hashtag Drachenfels. We'll give you some time to get your entries in. Um, what are we giving away this time, Blondie? We're giving away hats. Uh, we're giving away... I'm gonna go ahead and disable the chat so we don't spoil where that grimoire was for <laughs> uh, We're giving away one Drakenfels key. One Drakenfels key. Misspelled. And uh, one Schlüsselschloss key. One Schlüsselschloss. Probably Schloss. misspelled as well. <laughs> we think it is misspelled. <laughs> but you get the message. Hashtag Drakenfels. Oh, we'll wait for these guys now. So the elf has fallen down. This is a tricky jump too. There's a plank, which will kind of spawn there, you, and it, it can actually break if you run on it. Nice. It's got a random element to it. Whoa! No Good pressure. Run. No oh. pressure. Oh. No pressure. <laughs> Hundreds of people watching you. Oh. Yes. <laughs> Congratulations. That's what Drake said. How are we looking for entries, Blondet? Uh, give it two more minutes. This two more, more minutes. Is it still coming in? He's actually creeps me out from time to time. When I catch him on the, on the preview window, I'm just like, whoop. Hasn't blinked once. Yeah. He's determined. He's but he's still happy. I wonder yeah, if he's yeah. feeling bad or something. Maybe, maybe he's a bit ill. Maybe. Maybe he's got a death wish. <laughs> <laughs> out of context, that sounds very strange. Yeah. It's a bit of an in-joke, I guess. Yeah. You should well, definitely check out our April Fool's joke if you're wondering uh, where this face comes from. It's an in-joke <laughs> with the entire community. I love it. Oops. I like how I'm just like, I'm just drinking and staring into this corner. That's like a great... Mm. <laughs> you should be a professional streamer. I should. And it should it's be noted, you need to... if you get paid for this. You will need to follow us in order for your hashtag Dragonfells to allow you into the chance of winning mm. awesome prizes. Um, Where so are yeah. the players? Where are these guys? They're so far behind. Well, you are, or they are? No, they are. Lagging. <clears throat> Alright, let's oh, start. We must reach the Oh, sure, guys, I don't, mean, I don't mean to be rude, there's no rush here. We have a hat. So, hashtag Dragonfells, make sure to be a follower of our Twitch channel or we can't send you a key. And this hat, <laughs> this hat is going to Catlan86. Uh, congratulations, and uh, thanks for joining. That will be with you soon. We'll spin the wheel again. And this one is. A Schlüsselschloss key, but this one will come to you spelt correctly, and that goes to <laughs> this guy, Dark Phoenix seven seven seven, who I believe asked the question, maybe. Oh, it's the seven 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 that throws me off. Good news. Congratulations, you win a you win a Schlüsselschloss key and that. Oh my god! Awesome. Holy Sigma. Whoa, we have whoa, a hat, and this is going low. to Mo Doman. Whoa. Congratulations. That whoa! Are you right there? No. Problems. Oh my god. Are you right there? No. Liam's stressing out. It's that hat will be with you too. And thanks oh, for joining oh, us on look this that. Friday evening. The devastating blow. Morning, depending where you are. That buff to the devastating blow has just made such a difference in that trait. It's gone from being like... Is that the push one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It pushes so far now. This is a skull. Eisenfaust. Eisenfaust. Grab that. Why 
Are we spinning the wheel again, buddy? Awesome. We have hat. And this is going to Novoin YT, which I assume may stand for you. Congratulations. That will be Novoinit. Novoinit. Oh, no. I'm being corrected from oh, the, no. my West. No. Oh, we have two no. prizes left. Whoa. I messed and up big the time. First to go is a hat, and that hat goes to Luther the Huss. Congratulations, and thank you for joining us on this Friday. Thank you for following us and uh, all of those things. Oh no! Don't leave me hanging, bro. We have a Drachenfest key. That's Don't our new DLC hanging. launch yesterday. Um, you can see Liam playing and failing right now, and that goes to Akbar. So you now can do fail, fail. <laughs> you can fall in that trap. I, I think failing to say the word fail properly is the most. That's a. That's a it's meta. It is meta, meta. It's beyond failure. Oh look at me! I'm so dead. I really, actually... I really screwed that up because what I was doing then was, I um, I was at the top there with the others, and I, I was like, I saw a moment for me to jump down. I was going to help them by shooting up. And I just realised that it was the worst idea ever. Leaving your team behind is so rarely a good idea. And uh, Pack Master got me. Tragic. Yeah. Tragic end. Yep. <laughs> it was well struck all you want to take over? No, I think you can carry on. Talk and play. Tan bats for everybody. Playing on the pad. Oh, he's died. Oh, come on. Noob. <laughs> Feels good, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was used to that on Tuesday. Punishing. You're coming up. Here we go. Yay. All right, now we're actually heading into whoa, 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 dude! Now we're heading into the exciting part of this level, which is first of all, there's a chest here. Always spawns, spawns, and always spawns. Bit of, bit of hints. We don't actually have a timer for the next giveaway. Yes. We need, we need a new stream producer, I think. Well. <laughs> You're fired, Liam. <laughs> I'm fired. <laughs> I've not done anything wrong. Look at this. Oh, that shadow. You got that gargoyle statue. It's just, just, I mean, I think what's really fun about the darkness too is look at this. Pitch black when I'm not in the area. I'm going to go ahead and disable the player outlines as well just to make it a bit more intense. I'm surprised they persist that Yeah, that's a bit. That's probably, I'm going to write a suggestion play. Oh, did I fail? Oh, no. We're good. Yeah. I'm gonna grab the torch. I love the shadow work, actually. That's, the, that's really stunning. It does look great. And it adds so much to the game as well. So I'm just gonna, just gonna head on this way. Halls of obscurity. Ah, then now this is where I saw you yesterday. Whoa! So what you can kind of do is you can throw the torch down on the ground and that's actually gonna light up the area. Or you can have somebody carry. So Kruber's just gonna ahead and grab that. And it's into a corner. Oh, we got some loot here. Potentially. It's elevated him. <laughs> Taking him to whole new height. Oh, damn. I mean, this is, this is one of the most intense um, kind of mechanics we got in the game, I think. It's just that idea of like we have to stick together. I have no idea where the enemy's gonna come from, and just seeing those like red beady eyes coming out from this cave, plus our traps in this room. I mean, a whole lot of hurt. It really is, and I remember when we started implementing this, and it was just like so much fun. It still is. I'm actually quite engrossed now. It's probably not not all that interesting. I'm just out here going, <laughs> but uh, yeah. hedge, hedge. No question. Did you, there's, a, there's a thing on the left of that window. Did you move that? Oh, ah, yes. Jojo. Jojo 00182. How can I join you? I mean, you, if you mean here, or if you mean in game. Um, so, in game, what you want to do, um, I think we'll be having more game after this. I think we should do, yeah, we should do, we should do one more game. Yeah. So, what we'll you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go. I'm gonna have to try an interruption here. That's right. It's probably not. It's probably gonna get you horribly killed. Oh my god, I'm this dying! Might be the worst area I can grab. Yeah, I'm, we're gonna show no, you no, in about. The, watch me do this. No! We're gonna no. show you in a couple of moments, Jojo, um, how to I join to the stream team in the quest. Um, 
But in doing so, we would interrupt. Uh, it's a rather intense thing. You right there? He's having fun. This is intense. Oh boy. So these, these, oh. um, these here uh, planks, or whatever you should call them, they actually randomize a bit. So it's not always obvious which way to take, and you're going to have to look at that every playthrough. So you cannot memorize this route. Well, I'm going to grab that torch from Kruger. I'm gonna pick him up. Nah, he's okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's all pitch black. Oh, adds a bit of intensity. Gonna push these enemies down. Yes. So you've got, I've got a bit of stamina for my pushes, and that's actually inherited from whatever melee weapon I'm using. Oh. If I was using a shield, I'd actually have um, 10 shields, or uh, 10 stamina, which is 5. Oh, shit. Yeah. Uh, one stamina is half a shield. So you can see that regenerating. I should probably keep, stick together and stop in like, being instruction. Time to apply the sword. Come on, I'm gonna block revive this guy. Nice. Bam. We got one player a bit further behind. Bright wizard. I've noticed, we said on stream that the, even the Bright Wizards fire mm. can't uh, light up the dark. But, uh, I've noticed that uh, some weapons like the uh, Conflagration uh, Alt Fire and the Beam Staff left mouse button does light up a little bit so that mm. you can see contours, which it helps if you get lost in the dark, which I did. So if you look at these, if you look at these two pressure plates here, this one, that's a trap. This one, fire. This one, a trap. Oh, <laughs> this one, fine. It's gorgeous. Yeah. So you want to try to, you want to try to look out for that. See that one? Dangerous. And sometimes you're in an intense moment where you won't have time to look. It's running through a corridor, being chased by a rat ogre. So it adds that bit of like, watch where you're walking. I'm walking on skeletons right now. That's fine. Oh, defying. <laughs> That's okay. Right. Path up here. What if I were to just... Oh, oh, that looks so cool. That did look pretty cool. Oh, we're in the dark. Now, oh, I'm scared. Speed potion. Lance of a globe, but here. Speed potion. We made it, guys. <laughs> so actually, at this point, we're going to find another torch. Go ahead and see where my teammates are. Sorry about that, guys. It was just, that was for, for drama. <laughs> for cinematic effect. Uh, let's, uh, let's bring up how you jo can join once there's spots in the game. Yeah, let's, so, let's stop here. Uh, for a sec. Yep. So, if you join the uh, Vermintide chat room, which you can uh, find. Oh, let me. Uh, we'll get that later on, right? Yeah. Sure. Uh, so, open me. the friends list. Go to groups, and at the bottom, or close to the bottom, you will find Warhammer and Times Vermintide. Just double click on that, and you will go into the chat room, and you can find me in the list, Fat Track Blondie, my account for uh, some, somewhere, somewhere maybe. If you're not, if you don't have this in your groups list, it means that you have to follow uh, or join our Steam group. You can do that via Vermintide.com. Check the community tab. We've got the Steam group right there. So you can join that, it's going to give you two free hats as well, which is great. Free You'll hats. find us in the list. That's free hats sure. is always good. I'm not sure how you can find yourself. Is that even possible? I don't think you can. Joining yourself is strange. Ooh. A bit. Come on, Whoa. Whoa. I love that like animation of this fight. I'm just going to trigger it. Nice. It's like, come because look, it just comes out of the eye sockets of the skull. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Speaking of, whoa. <laughs> whoa. Whoa! I've run over this plaque a couple times. Let's see what happens. No, we're fine. <laughs> okay. It's the first time I've actually had time to actually look at what's going on, mm. as opposed to just running with my behind on fire, so to speak. Oh, so it's quite. Oh, thank you, Trax. I just killed me. So this is a scary place. This is the relic chamber. So this is the the kind of end event of this level, if you will. I think Unshane is rocking a rather nice trinket as well, which reduces the impact of the Grimoire. Ah, that's true. Cheeky. <laughs> so 
We've got the Flask of Wayward Souls. The third of the... Um, actually, not the third. It is the third. You you collect the skull, you you collect the chalice, mm -hmm. and then there's this one. So we can pick that up. There's some books here as well. I guess that's like the manual or something. Maybe. How to pill for souls. <laughs> 101. Yeah, exactly. For dummies. For drackies. <laughs> no, man. No, it's not even. Humor levels non-existent. Not even tongue practice, man. Yeah. Right. <laughs> oh, he's laughing. <laughs> Look at him. That was so funny, guys. <laughs> no! Got to run and disagrees. <laughs> Was the idea of a defeat checkpoint for a game ever considered? Like, for example, being defeated both at the end of the map yields more experience than being defeated at the beginning of the map. Um, we do have a, a feature that kind of does that. So if you are defeated uh, kind of further than half of the level, more or less, like on average, you will actually still receive tokens. So you're not going to get any, like, item rolls, but you're going to get some tokens based on the difficulty you're playing. So that is our way of, of doing the sort of checkpoint system. We did have some talks about doing a more a proper checkpoint thing where maybe you would like um, restart at a certain point of the level if you lost and all that stuff, but we, through testing and through feedback from, uh, from the community and from press and from all sorts of people, one of the, the things that people kept telling us was it's so much fun that if you lose, it's from the start because it gives you that kind of building up, uh, almost anxiety to yeah. further into That's the level again. It does, it does. As you can see, I cannot tag this rat out of it. That's because we have no torch on it. But it looks like he's about to get torched. Bah. Oh boy, so oh am I. Dear. Oh no, look at it. Right, I'm just gonna try to focus down the ogre. I don't think that's gonna get rid of these slaves. That's one of the tricky parts about this fight, is really trying to find the balance between focusing down the ogre. Yeah, yeah I, I think because you have such limited vision as well, because you have almost no torches. I mean, in in a normal situation, this is not that difficult of a fight. But under the circumstances with a the limited vision, and kind of not knowing where your enemies are coming from, it is really tricky. But as you can see, no match for Salt Spire. Whoa! <laughs> he was going for me then! You got a meat shield oh. in your way. Man, I'm just gonna look at these. Wow. I mean, there's something about just walking through a room filled with scaven corpses that you can barely see. I've got this big guy over here. Oh wow, look at that guy. <laughs> He's throwing a torch at me. <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, sorry. Yes, new question. Skipjack 3D. Is the vote kick option ever going to get a temp ban mechanic? I know this is quite a popular, a strangely popular request. In an ideal situation, you want to be kicking anybody, but we appreciate sometimes there's the need to. Um, and I've seen a few requests for it being somewhat strange that that person could just potentially be joined straight away. Um, so it's, it's, it's very much a possibility, and it may not even be that difficult oh, to put in. I couldn't speak from a sort of game design point of view, but um, do know it's something we're um, just trying to make that a little bit more of a robust feature. I think I'm currently alone on my party here. I'm just trying to run to the cart. Uh, no! No! What's this guy doing? How's he, how's he underneath? Get in! No! <laughs> No! Amazing. Oh, we're good, we're good. Oh, wow, you got the achievement. Congratulations. Oof. As your, as your goal, Leo, that was, wow. Some warm stuff. I'm gonna sit down, man, that was. Oh, I am, great. <laughs> that was intense. I think Tom should play. Tom should, should play. Tom should play. Wow, that was fun. I really like that darkness mechanic style. I think it's, it's so much fun. Oh, now we've got the glaive in the list. Okay, hitting the roll button. I'm just gonna do this. So, Tom, Tom. <laughs> he's just face rolled and he's getting the glaive! Oh my god! Amazing. <laughs> What's so great is Tom is always so ridiculously lucky with getting stuff in games. I think he got And that's just like, oh man. There's a lucky charm right here. It's that face. <laughs> what, what traits? Oh! What so we've got the swift slaying trait, which is increased attack speed on kills, I believe. Uh, hits, actually, yeah. Uh, and then we've got the devastating blow print. So, pushing enemies first. Yeah. So you want to try that out now, I think. Yeah, probably. Let's do that. Probably. <laughs> my uh, my voice is just going. 
We've got another giveaway in 3 minutes and 42 seconds. Let's, uh, cool. you know what? We've been uh, doing a little bit more uh, more than 15 minutes in between the giveaways. Okay. Let's do the next giveaway now, then take a little break. I could use 5 minutes. Maybe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, do the giveaway. We'll, uh, we'll do that. So, uh, yeah. Let's do let's it. Why not? I don't think we'll do we'll do two more giveaways after this one. Um, so we're gonna keep streaming until about ten o'clock Swedish time. So about thirty-five more minutes. So because then we come up in three hours and you know we're not that fun to watch. <laughs> we know that. And we're running out of things to give away. <laughs> yeah, we are actually. Mm -hmm. I don't know how much we've got left, but we'll uh, we'll make sure that all the keys we have are gonna be in the possession of you guys. Yes. So the dra Drachenfels, <laughs> the spelling. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, right. So what's the hashtag this time? Is it hashtag Drakenfels again? No, we can't use the same hashtag. Truth. Truth. You guys joining now, it may be a while before yeah. we actually get a game going, so it's entirely up to you if you want to hang around. Oh yeah, I've disabled the chat. Go ahead and re-enable that. It's just because they were talking about where the grimoire was. <sighs> uh, let's do hashtag Tom's Luck. Tom's Luck, yeah. Tom's Luck. It's legit. We are. We are. We are. So yes, Tom's luck. Make sure you're following us on the channel. Um, we'll give you a few minutes to get your, or maybe a minute to get your entries in. Um, yes, hashtag Tom's luck for a chance to be in with, is it the same same set of loot this time? Um, you know what? Let's, what do we know? We're, we're going to do uh, a Schlosser's loss. Key. A Schlusser Schloss key. Uh, no oh, Thomas. Key this time. <laughs> Thomas, stop. Thomas. <laughs> Thomothy. Thomas. Thomothy. <laughs> Yay, Tom's luck. <laughs> For anybody who has never been on the stream before. This is probably a little strange. It's probably a bit weird. This right here is a picture of Tom Batsford, Tom, one of, Botsford. Tom Botsford, one of our gameplay programmers, who is uh, typically in every live stream we do. Unfortunately, he was ill this time. Uh, I believe he's got a case of the Overwatch flu or yeah, something I've similar. Yeah, yeah. And uh, so he, he couldn't join us today, unfortunately. But uh, we thought we'd bring him in spirit and um, make sure that he didn't miss today's stream. And he got Blondie a handy, handy glaive. He did. That's pretty cool. Mm. Okay, guys, we're doing the spinner wheel once more. To be a part of this giveaway, put hashtag Tom's Luck. That's Tom's Luck in the chat. Make sure you're following us. If you didn't just say that, you may have done. If you're not following us on Twitch, Make Can't sure you that message. you're following us. Do it. And uh, after this giveaway, we're going to do a short break, five minutes, just kind of uh, reassess reality, understand how sentences work, yeah. and uh, we'll be back for two more giveaways and a bit more playing, and uh, that will be it. Yeah. Do some so, shout-outs. I assume we'll do some shout-outs. Yes, shout -outs. We'll definitely do some shout-outs before yeah. we go. Once again, I just want to take the moment to thank you all for joining our stream today. It's a bonus stream. It's outside of our normal streaming schedule. We usually stream on Tuesdays at 5 p.m. CEST. Check out our website, vermintide.com, for our streaming schedule so you can join us in future streams, learn about Vermintide, stay up to date on the game, and uh, be part of our giveaways. Mm. So let's spin. And perhaps even next week see the glorious beard of the top. You never know. Perhaps. The wheels are spinning. We have a hat. Whoop. This hat goes to Ophirion. Congratulations for your new hat. That'll be in the mailbox soon. Tom's happy. Tom is always. Easy. He's really happy. And <laughs> uh, we have a hat. Another hat. An awesome hat going to Nas Nasconius. Congratulations. That should be with you within the next five to ten minutes. Um, and thank you for following us and thank you for joining us on this Friday evening where you could have been doing so many other things. Uh, was that just spun? Yep. That was just spunned, and it's a hat. An awesome hat, and that is going to... Ooh. This person. Ashensi. Ash Ashensi, Ashensi. Depends, yes. I can see. Ashensi. I can see that working. Congratulations on your new... We'll be with you soon. Thanks for Thank following you. us. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for everything. <gasps> Wheels rigged, man. Oh, it's a hat wheel. <laughs> Another hat. And this hat goes to... Brzimboz 6B. <laughs> I'm not sure I pronounced that right. Brzimboz. Yes. Brzimboz 6B. Congratulations. And the final giveaway on this wheel, the final item. So what Schlusser is it? Schlosser Schlosser. Congratulations to Schrock 
Schrock. The Schrock, you've just won a key for the the fall DLC, the Schlüsselschloss DLC, Schlüsselschloss which DLC. was released uh, back in March, actually. Yeah, so March the 7th. Yeah, it is. So you got a chance to birthday. check that DLC out. Actually, yeah, that was your first was day. my first day. So that's, that's pretty cool. You joined us at the release of that DLC, mm -hmm. and now here we are, like, a, a bit more than two and a half months later, yeah, yeah. Uh, with the next big DLC release. So yeah. It's two down. It's cool. You also win a hat as well. Um, thanks for following us and joining us on this Friday evening slash afternoon or morning, depending on where you are. Could be a Tuesday in some time zones. I don't think it could. I'm not sure it could. I'm not I'm sure the math probably take out. a break at this point. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Um, if you're a time traveler, thank you for joining us on Tuesday, Monday, and Friday. We'll see you in a couple minutes. We're just going to take a short break. Check out this awesome trailer for Dragonfells if you haven't already. We'll be with you for some more giveaways, some more gameplay, and just a few some minutes. more time. Don't go anywhere. The world is ending, though few believe it. The Chaos Gods, the Dark Brothers, tire of their great game. Now, they seek to sweep the board clean with fire and blood. For centuries, the Empire has held firm against its enemies. Mankind has encountered no foe that steel could not tame. Or whom walls could not hold. At least, that is what they taught. No one spoke of the ancient enemy now rising from beneath. And no one will be left to tell the tale. Unless you can stem the vermin died. A Castle Drachenfels, as evil a lump of stone as ever was laid. So, this wizard, Drachenfels, he was among the worst of the worst, from what I've heard. No man has entered Castle Drachenfels for twenty years, but as you should know by now, the vermin are no men. A visceral first-person co-op experience set during the apocalyptic end times of the Warhammer fantasy world. As the iconic world is ending, players take control of one of five different heroes in a desperate struggle against the Skaven Ratmen. When the city of Ubersreich is overrun and all seems lost, you join the resistance and fight back. One of the most important features in a game like Vermintide is the combat gameplay. A number of different systems were constructed to provide you, the player, with immersive sensations of intense melee fighting. Combat in Vermintide ranges from chaotic clashes with oncoming hordes to small encounters with a handful of clan rats. The flow of combat is dynamic as the actions and choices of the players continually influence their available options, resulting in an emergent co-op experience. Each weapon type provides a different way to hack, slice, stun and disrupt the enemy. 
Utilizing a weapon to its full potential involves both quick positioning and precise execution, be they well-placed headshots that penetrate armor or sweeping strikes that slam multiple enemies, piling them up in preparation for a devastating area of effect attack from the rear line. The physical hit detection enables the game to precisely determine the direction and velocity of each impact ensuring a satisfying feedback when your weapon connects with your target. Using a heavy hammer will send your enemies flying through the air, while using bladed weapons will allow players to decapitate their foes with devastating precision. Limbs will detach, heads will roll, and why not pin an enemy to a wall using an arrow or bolt? Vermintide also features a blood splatter system which, combined with the detailed audio design, will ensure that each and every strike with your steel will feel unique and vividly portray the gruesome face of battle. As each hero brings their own arsenal, every weapon has been designed to fit, express and encourage the personality of its wielder. Dodge, weave, stun and stab with relish as an agile elf wielding dual daggers block incoming blows with your dwarven shield. Then, interrupt an attack with a push and finish off your assailant with the swing of an axe. You can even bring out your ranged weapons and form a firing line to decimate the oncoming Skaven charge with hot lead and trusty arrows. <laughs> hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the stream. So, we are back again. We've got the Wood Elf Waywatcher now with a glaive that we just got in the last game. We've been shoved into the basement, <laughs> as is standard stream it's protocol, just, I think, whenever you take your eyes off. It seems to be. Whenever you take your eyes off the game, bam. That's just, for some reason. Going in the basement. <laughs> People always ask, who's in the basement, or what's in the basement? Well, now you know. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be doing one more game here, and we'll have two more giveaways before we... Finish off the stream for tonight. The last one's going to be quite a big one. Yes, we want to go out with a bang, so to speak. So we'll do one more giveaway in about, I guess, 15 minutes. And then we'll do the last one, and we'll kind of wrap things up with the stream. So, yeah, hang around for that. Let's do Summoner's Peak again. Summoner's Peak, this time we, uh, yeah. we may actually finish it. I've never finished it before. It's just a little bit nails for me, but we'll give it a go. Holy Tom, bless this ravaged player. <laughs> <laughs> We're going on hard. I hope that's okay. <laughs> it's not for me. I'm slightly terrified. We've been doing this for this. two and a half hours now. If I say something that makes no sense, I blame myself. And everyone else. Yeah. And Leo. And Blondie. And Tom. It's mostly Tom's fault at this it point. It is actually Tom's fault. Look at that. Start the game button. Let's do this. Yeah. I've never used a glaive either, so this is actually quite Prepare exciting. Prepare yourselves. I may finish a level, and I may actually make some extra glaive. You might have to tell me some of the mechanics of the you glaive. You've never used a glaive? No, I've never used it. Oh, cool. So it gives me a, a very organic opportunity to describe this to you. I'm also describe it to the viewers. So, Summoner Speak, we gave this a couple of goes. We both, we've both failed at this level today, haven't we? I haven't attempted this. Okay, okay. It was just me, twice. <laughs> Beautiful. Well, I had, I, like I was saying, I attempted on Tuesday during our playtest sessions and uh, failed miserably then. So let's okay. give this a go. So you have the glaive, two handed weapon for the elf. So if you hit the, if you hit the attack button, that's going to do just like a regular. How do suit. I preview the button? Um, show you can't the do that in game with the gamepad, but I can do that right here for you. Nice. Check that out. If you want to stand still one time, you can kind of do the third person preview. And it's just, it's a beast. I mean. Damn! Damn, son. Where'd you find this? <laughs> In the dungeons. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, bloody. All right, so hit the attack button. It's going to do a regular, like, sweeping motion. It's going to hit your enemies side to side. It's absolutely fantastic. Don't hit Kruber. Cool. He's all right. He can take it. He's okay. <laughs> do the charge. Oh, look at that hat, though. Look at that hat. So there you go. You, you've got that double combo going on. If you do a charge attack and just kind of don't do anything after that, it's just an upper swing, like an uppercut swing type thing. Uh, if you do it twice, it's the up and then the down motion. So that's going to be great for comboing attacks on like Storm Vermin or Rattling Gunners, Lobadiers, all the specials. Uh, yeah, let's I think do we've got some changes actually coming to this glaive, right? Yeah, we do. We do currently have um, a small bug with the glaive where it's not doing the appropriate amount of damage on Cataclysm. That's something that we just discovered today. Uh, we wanted to get a hot fix out for that, but 
we kind of decided against it because it's a Friday night. We don't want to potentially risk ruining anything. You know, there's always a risk whenever we put out a patch that something else breaks, such as the nature of code and and uh, video games. <laughs> so um, we're kind of safing on that, and we'll get out a hotfix on Monday for that as soon as we possibly can. So if you've got the new glaive, if you're playing on Cataclysm, you might notice that you're not dealing as much damage as intended. We're very sorry about that. Hopefully, we'll have that fixed on Monday. Hmm. Let's do this. Go. Yes, it is. And by the way, Jeller, Rain Terror, and Internet Sab, thank you so much for hanging out with us, for waiting around us, we took a break, and now for letting us both play the Wood Elf and show off the weapon and uh, just have that moment. Real real nice of you guys. It's thank good you. to see you here, Internet Tab. Uh, I recognize you from Reddit. Uh, oh, yeah. You frequent quite a lot. I do recognize that name, too. It's good to have you here with us. Well, I'm lost already. I'm already lost. <laughs> for the other guys. Yeah. They know. I'm not sure that looks like the best way to go. I really like Jeller's hat that he's got there as well. That, that like hooded, hooded witch situation. That's with his head. Bam! <laughs> Heart's coming up. I return the, return the heart. Love has been shared. Love success. It's about the love. <laughs> with the true flight though. You want to aim that as well. You know the true flight works. I haven't even got a true flight blow. No, so I, I haven't. Okay. I, I kind so, of know how it works, but I haven't actually had a chance there. So the way, the way it works is if you if you clip it again and you use the uh, the left um, the left trigger, hold that down, it's going to tag an enemy, and so that then the arrow will chase him down, right? Um, those arrows can also pierce enemies occasionally, depending on what enemy it is and which traits you have. So you actually kind of keep chasing. This Skipjack is 3D has a question. Is the innkeeper the Grey Wizard from the tower? Seems pretty suspicious that they're never in the same room. Great question. That's a good question. Um, I think we have reason to believe that it isn't the same person. But I I do agree with your suspicion there. It's an interesting question. Could there be something to that? Who knows? What do you think, Tom? Yeah, I think that's yeah, that's a it's a good good line of line of thought there. It really gives you some. Not something I like, again, not something I thought of. I mean, he's really coming up with some uh, yeah, Tom, uh, some new points of view today. Unconventional oh. philosophy, I think, is, is the, the only way I can describe what he's just said. This is satisfying. People are like, are you guys crazy? <laughs> Obviously, not a real person. <laughs> <laughs> we know. <laughs> It's a joke, guys. Totally. <laughs> joke to self. The, uh, the, the phrase, joke to self, is when you make a joke and nobody gets it but you. It's like my life. Life to self. <laughs> <laughs> so good. That feels heavy. Oh, you got a rattling gunner. Rattling gunner. So I hit the B button. You got crash. Oh. One weapon. Bam. Bam, son. Oh, nice! So we got one of them. Um, one of our teammates has the sharing, sharing the uh, potion trinket. I forget what that was called. Oh, it would have been beautiful. Yeah, someone else <laughs> got that first. Teammates, too good. Right, actually. Um, Grimlock task. Any plans of putting out a follow-up to the Dragonfell's patch? Yes, absolutely. We, um, whenever we do a big patch like this, there's always the chance that bugs manage to slip through, or that there's something that we're not completely happy about in terms of balance, or you know, we always get feedback on stuff. There might be exploits that players figure out. There's always something that, that can go wrong. And so already now we're actually working on a patch for Dragon Falls to follow up on some of the initial feedback and some of the bugs that have come up. So you can expect that out uh, probably in the next couple of days and uh, likely to see a couple of patches following Dragon Falls, uh, both kind of smaller and uh, big ones. Uh, that's crazy. And obviously, quests and contracts are free DLC, which we announced back. Yeah, yeah. EGX Rezd is here. We will have some more info on that coming up pretty soon as well. As well as the console versions, which I know a lot of people are excited about. We talked about it earlier on the screen. Hoping to have some release dates for both quests and contracts and for the console versions pretty soon. That's just, m I mean, look at that wall. It's just the, it's the killing wall. It's grim. Whoever has to clean that up, I mean. Um, it's Gaven Janitors. <laughs> I miss my friends. <laughs> clean, clean. <laughs> that was actually quite funny. That <laughs> was okay with yeah, it. Yeah. As opposed to the other time. Joke well, to yeah, everyone. Yeah. Oh, you get nearly three hours into these things, so no. You're not sure what's funny. I think the longer we stream, the more funny it'll get. 
<laughs> up until a point. And, and then we're finally we'll think it again. You get yeah. this critical mass and then suddenly viewer no, viewers are is at zero. We're like, why is nobody watching this? We've got so many hats. And it's the all genies. gone. <laughs> More hats, guys. More hats. Oh, that's nice. So the interesting thing about the glaive is it's it's really good at killing specials, it's good at storm vermin. It's not that great against hordes of enemies. So that's kind of the niche, is it's very good against single targets. And that's what you're probably noticing here. It's not great at clearing out tons of slaves. So I think one one good combination is running this with a Hagbane Swift Bow, for example. So you can clear out the hordes of slaves and clan rats with the, the Hagbane, and then you can just grab the Glaive for the Storm Vermin, for the uh, Rattling Gunners, Lobadiers, and what have you. Yeah, right. oh, that's pretty cool. It's good. I get it. And what you can also do is like if you just if you just kind of shoot it up into the air, don't even aim for anything. Yeah, it'll just it'll find something. Nice. It's the same with the uh, with the bolt staffs. Uh, alternate. Ortiz asks, why was the skin of the Reichsguard Falcon changed to a straight sword, and will it be ever be changed back to a falcon? That is a really good question. Um, I know I was talking to somebody about this a while back. I forget what the answer was. I'd like to bring Nicholas on to uh, talk about weapons. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, I have to follow up on that. Yeah, sorry about that. I'm he has a great beard as well. Is he? Yeah, he does. Got a beard off. He has a pretty sweet mustache to go with the beard. All right. Well, better than <laughs> that's cool. Better than the Tom stash. Yeah, actually, Tom beats him in the beard, but... Uh, I don't even know why I'm asking that question. Maybe for the benefit of everyone else. Whoa! Tom's... don't cry. Be we, right. we still like you, Tom. You'll be alright. Come on, man. Come on. You're still part of the team. <laughs> Yo, team, stream team. <laughs> Probably want to... yeah, you want to grab, that, grab the healing draft. Yeah, good call. Or the draught, that's one of our QA guys. Draught. The healing draught. Can you hit it? Graskul asks, which of the character pairings is your OTP? It's OTP? One true pairing. Ah. It's your personal one true is it, is it a romantic thing or is it just like these two yes. are the best heroes? Yes. Romantic. Uh, you say? Did you have to giggle this? No. I spent enough time on Tumblr. <laughs> <laughs> Questions from Tumblr inbound. What do you think though? Who's, who's your favorite character pairing? Mine is definitely Barden and uh, Kruger. Barden I mean, yeah, I think I, like, Barden is not, just not my favourite in general, so anyone that get, is considering getting it on with Barden <laughs> gets my vote, really. Like, not super romantic, but mm. I feel like they're the kind of guys who are like, well, let's get married for the uh, tax benefits. And then, like, <laughs> in the end times. <laughs> yeah. and you're, like, completely screwed, like, skewed. I'm not sure. <laughs> priorities in this world. I'm not sure that the, the tax system is The world is, is ending, intact. though few believe it. Well, Many are thinking of tax returns. <laughs> But the scheme of their Once they inevitably <laughs> save the world, you know. Oh, come on, they're not, come on. <laughs> Do you even end times, bro? They think. If you think these guys are going to save the world, you haven't realized what's going on here, man. They think they're going to save the world. But yeah, they know no different, I guess. Yeah, maybe. It's legit. So but tax returns? Yeah, come on. Like, all the all the benefits you get to I don't know. married. I just think getting married for tax returns, that's just... Yeah. See, my OTP would be... Um, Alicia and France, aka the innkeeper and the uh, the fairy lady. I wasn't even thinking of the, uh, yeah. NPCs. Yeah, that's what's up. That could be a thing. While we're out of the missions, these guys are hanging out at the inn playing cards. Good. No further explanation required. How do you pronounce Francis Sonny? Uh, Lona. Lona. Lona, right? Lona. Oh, I call him Lona. Oh, what's that? Oh, he's fine. He's a Lona. Yeah, exactly. So uh, Lona. Lona. We can get oh, oh, shit. Oh, I'm just... <laughs> this is a mature stream. Yeah. <laughs> well, she. Uh, so, as we were saying earlier when we played this level, this is a tricky one because you've got all these places where you can fall down, and you've really got to make sure not to not to kind of uh, get hit by the rat ogre. Yeah, don't walk back. Oh, this is going to end too. Get the combos in. Get the combos. Charge attack. Charge attack. Oh, he's jumped. That's actually Good. a new jumping animation as well. And I think that the rattling gunner just about killed it there. I think that was almost the rattling gunner. You can kind of shoot that up as well so it angles a shot. That was the PG stream. Yeah. Oh, fiddles. Oh, rats. It's a fiddle. Okay, we got another giveaway coming up in two minutes, 20 seconds. That's going to be the second to last, the penultimate. Giveaway for the stream. We're doing one more giveaway after that, and then we are going home to do some serious sleeping. I'm just 
tired from, from the release. It's been so great. I was running at a wall there. I'm back yeah. tired. It is so much fun watching people play the DLC, having people join us for the stream, all that stuff. It's been ex absolutely excellent. So much fun getting the DLC out and seeing the reviews. It's been really positive so far. I'm just going to check the uh, situation here on my phone to see how many players are currently playing Vermintide. I'm curious about that. So we've got, oh, we've got 5,700 people in game right now. Nice. That is, um, that's the free weekend and the DLC working their magic there. So for all you new players checking out the stream right now, thank you for joining us. Uh, we stream every week on Tuesdays, 5 p.m. CEST. We give you kind of an insight into what we're up to here at Fat Shark, where we're bringing Vermintide for the future. We do community spotlights where we highlight some of the coolest stuff in the community from that previous week. So videos, artwork, screenshots, posts on the forums, all that kind of cool stuff that we want to highlight. We push that out there on the stream. And uh, we kind of shift up the format a bit each week. We do some introducing of devs so you can kind of meet the developers and the team, ask them questions about what it is they do on the projects. Um, we do play with the dev sessions, such as what we're doing right now. We've got our sneak preview streams where we show off something that we I haven't shown claws. before. Get so uh, we always try to show you guys something new there. And we do a surprise stream every month as well, which could be absolutely anything. Uh, we never quite know what those are going to be, and we never announce it until the stream starts. So definitely check out our stream schedule on vermintide.com if you want to join us for future streams. We also finish every stream off with a giveaway. So every week on the stream, we're giving away hats to the game, game codes, different fat shark games, all that cool stuff. We're trying to get those out there, and these are exclusive things that you can pick up by watching the stream. Our Twitch stream is also partnered on Twitch, which means you can subscribe to our channel. It's going to give you a bunch of exclusives. You can get some new emoticons that you can use on any Twitch chat, uh, Twitch stream. You can get a, you'll get a unique badge, a fat trick badge, which you get in our Twitch chat to show off that you're a subscriber and that you're supporting the, the stream, which is really cool. You'll also get an exclusive in-game hat from Marcus Kruber. You can check that out down below. And right now, we're going to hop into the giveaway, the next giveaway. And we should add it actually all. all, all subscription money that comes our way actually yes. goes straight to charity. All the proceeds to charity. We're not making any money off this stream. This is purely purely a charitable cause for us. And the great thing about streaming is that we really see it as like a two-way street. So we can sit here, we can show things off live, we can get your feedback instantly, we can answer your questions. It's a really great way for us to uh, connect with you guys, which is super fun. Alright, let's do the let's do the giveaway. This is the penultimate giveaway. We're giving away five hats in this giveaway. So to be a part of this, <laughs> you put the hashtag Hatalanche. Hatalanche hashtag in the stream chat. You have to be following our channel on Twitch as well. So if you're not already following us, drop into our channel, hit that follow button, make sure you've got an account on Twitch, and you can be a part of this giveaway. We'll give you a couple of seconds here. Leo's gonna continue playing the level a bit. Give it a go. Oh, lordy lord. Just gonna check in here. Okay, let's do the giveaway. Top of Hat Please, please what you need. We've talked about this. It's not the time or the place. Do so, it. do it later. Off. Your OTP. No! <laughs> Was OTP stand for again? I mean, that's now I'm never forgetting. Thank you. <laughs> you should uh, you should definitely drink your healing draft at this point. No, I'm going hard mode. No, I <laughs> hard mode lasted for four seconds. Ooh, that's a... Oops, nope, that's the wrong swing. Beautiful. All right, guys, we're doing the giveaway. We're gonna be spinning the wheel and. What could we be giving away first? What could it possibly be? Hashtag hat launch. Alright, hit that spin. And it's a hat, and it is going to be going to Missy Mox. Missy Mox, thank you for joining the stream. Congratulations. Check your Steam, I mean, your Twitch inbox. In this moment, we'll be sending you a Steam key for a hat. Thanks for following. Thank you, yes. Another hat going to. MMOSB, MMOSB, thank you for joining the Twitch stream, for following us, and congratulations. Good hat. Next one goes to Cookie8226. Congratulations. Thank you for following us on Twitch and for being a part of the stream. Next hat goes to 
Rated Terror. That's a great name. That is a great name. I really like that. Congratulations. Thank you. And what could it be? <laughs> it's a hat, again. To Zelenthor. Zelenthor, thank you for following our channel and uh, congratulations. Just want a hat. So, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be putting on a final countdown. We're going to be doing one more giveaway stream. Well, uh, one more giveaway on the stream. Let's do the giveaway when, when this level Yeah, let's do that. Okay, no countdown. No count so, yet. as soon as we finish this level, we're going to wrap the stream up, do the last giveaway. We're giving away a ton of stuff on this one, actually. Um, we're going to get back to that. So, don't go anywhere. Definitely be a part of that last giveaway. So, what is It is. And for those of you just joining us, or who uh, joined us a while ago, you know, you know, you know the drill, guys. Uh, today was a bonus stream, a three-hour bonus stream for the celebration of the free weekend for Vermintide and for the release of our new DLC, Drakenfels, Drakenfels. which you can pick up for eight ninety-nine dollars or euros at the Steam store right now. Five pounds ninety-nine for our British compadre for the UKs. Definitely check that out. And you can also play Vermintide for free this weekend. It's on the free weekend, so if you've got friends who are interested in Vermintide, haven't tried it out yet, or who you think should play the game with you, bring them in. This is a perfect opportunity. Play it all weekend, all the way through Sunday. And if you bought the DLC, you can even invite those people from the free weekend into Direct Control, right? Yes, there yes, you, you can. Yes, you can. Only the DLC allows you to host those levels, but you don't have to have it to play the levels. You can still join your friends and get the achievements, get the two new weapons that are added in it, get all that stuff. So if you if you like what you see, if you want to support us, please buy the DLC. And if you are unable to or you don't feel it's worth the money, that's fine too. Definitely give them a chance anyway. Play them with your friends. Have a good time. That's, that's, what, great. that's what it's all about. Yeah, They're great levels. Definitely gonna you're definitely gonna like them if you like the base game. Uh, also, 40% off Rubentide during the free weekend. So if you are kind of hesitant to buy it, if this is your first chance trying it out. Definitely give the free weekend a go. Give it, give it some time. Make sure that it's right for you, and then pick it up at a forty percent discount. Absolutely fantastic price on that. Never been a better time to get the collector's edition either. So, if you're interested in that, give it a go. My favorite part: the sweet, sweet soundtrack. Oh yes, soundtrack by Jesper Kude. Absolute musical genius. Mm. So happy we're really on board for this project. Okay, guys, we are actually we actually beat this level this time. Unless everything goes horribly wrong now, as a rattling gunner. Oh my god. Are we good? We're good. <laughs> oh, you should jump, jump off the cliff for a dramatic exit. So just wait. Hey guys. <laughs> oh, we're okay, we're okay. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Time to go. Alright, another awesome. achievement. Very nice. Just doing that for GG, you here, buddy. guys. We're just gonna finish our game up for you. Okay, so we're doing loot roll. Let's see what we get this time. So playing the Dracofels levels is going to give you the opportunity to collect the two new weapons, the Glaive for the Waywatcher and the Volley Crossbow for the Witch Hunter. Unfortunately, none of those in the loot table this time. We have to give that another go, but still got some sweet, sweet loots. Oh, Oof, not bad. A blue Mason Shield for the Empire Soldier. You get a shield. Thank you. Not bad. <laughs> You're just going to shot it straight away, right? Yeah. yeah. Play so give me, give me those tokens. <laughs> can you, can you at least keep that so next time we do a stream and play the devs, and if I'm ever playing again, I've at least got a shield to put on. Uh, no. <sighs> Hashtag no go. shield. Hashtag <laughs> no shield for Leo. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that's all the playing for today. Thank you very much for joining us in all of the games. You've been a uh, really good, really good fun. I hope yeah. you enjoyed it. I mean, excellent audience. It's been super fun enjoying uh, enjoying your 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 chat company. Oh man, it is obvious we should be wrapping up the stream at this point, and that's exactly what we're going to do. So let's head out of this game. Thank you guys for joining us and for carrying us through that level. Super cool. We actually managed all three of the Dragonfell's levels today on the stream. We did. So, good stuff, guy. man. Yeah. Good stuff and good job, Tom. And uh, that yeah, that's pretty much going to be it for the stream. If you are interested in seeing more of the live streams, check out vermintide.com. Check out the community tab for that. We've got a streaming schedule up there. We stream every week, Tuesdays, 5 p.m. CEST. Check out Vermintide on Free Weekend Now. New DLC out. All that cool stuff. Uh, we are going to be doing a final spin of the giveaway the wheel. The biggest wheel of the day. Oh my. Sigmar. God. Bless this ravaged Bless wheel. Holy Hashtag Sigmar. No <laughs> Hashtag is no, no shield. shield. Hashtag no shield. For this giveaway, it's the worst hashtag. Ever. It is pretty bad, but it's relevant, right? Just gonna hop out of the game here. Yeah, I'm just gonna hop out there. Hashtag no shield. Okay. Make sure you're following the little follow button down. 
Yeah, I think it's yeah. I think it's down the bottom right. It's down, yeah, yeah. The bottom right. Bottom. Right. Right. Sorry about that. I can't even. <laughs> Hit the follow button, wherever it is, and uh, type the hashtag NoShield in the chat for a chance to win. What do you got on this wheel? We've got some hats, we've got some base games, I think? Yeah. Some ten hats. Ten hats. One dragon field. One key. One dragon and, field. And uh, one base game. Nice. Gonna, gonna give that, give people a minute in the chat to really get the hashtags in, get a chance to be a part of this. Have follow you enjoyed this page. stream, Tom? It's good, yeah, I do agree with that. I think. You know, as opposed to our different streams, that's definitely true. Yeah. So, if you want to see more of Tom, both uh, the real deal and uh, the... Faux Tom. Tam. Faux Tam. Tam Botsford. Tam Botsford. <laughs> if you want to see more of Tam, make sure to, to follow us on Twitch, check out our future streams, and uh, let us know in the forums what you would like to see in future streams. Hmm. Actually, should we do subscribe shoutouts before the giveaway? We should do that. We give some shoutouts to Cheeky. our new subscribers who have just joined us. Once again, you know, big thank you to you guys who are subscribing. All the money, oh, money, tea. All, all the, the money, money is going to charity. Money, tea. and uh, that's uh, it's a good cause. Getting some cool hats, getting some emoticons, supporting. and uh, you know, thank you for supporting the stream. Um, ironically, you're not really supporting the stream no. because the money isn't going to the stream. No, but you are supporting the stream too. Yeah, because you know, your present, your presence is doing so much, and and you get cool emotes. You do that you can use anywhere on Twitch. And ultimately, we are so happy and we feel so blessed that so many of you join us today to watch the stream. Uh, you know, hundreds of people, I believe, in in the stream just watching us play and talk about the game. It's that crazy. Is, it's, it's heartwarming. It's very enjoyable for us. We really love doing these things. Mm. So if you enjoy the streams, let us know what you think. If you hate them, tell us too so we know what we can improve on for future yeah. streams. As long as you tell us why. Yeah. Don't just tell us you hate us. Yeah, because that's... that's <laughs> this is horse, man. Can, can if you like. All right, so we go and up... The new streams from last time. Thank you for making it. The new subscribers for the, for the stream are, first off, Holy Smokes the Squire. Thank you for subscribing, my friend. S Soupies, thank you very much. But Tem 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 Tasketh, thank you for subscribing. Well, today. Yeah. And you get hats as well, right? Yes, they do. You will get. Hats. You guys are going to be getting hats. We're hats sending for you guys. To you. And oh, Mr. I know, I know who this guy is. Mr. Tommy Hawk. Mr. Tommy Hawk. Thank you for subscribing. Tom actually uses Tommy Hawk as a nick, so we're not sure if that's him or somebody else, but hey. Oh, this is why it was right. Yeah, that's it. That's it. <laughs> We've got Zabadowski, or Zabadlowski, rather. Zabadlowski, Zabadlowski. thank you for subscribing. Mm, thank, thank you, you and a hat's on its way to you. Rexstart Eskimo Spy. That's a crazy name. I love that name. Yeah. Rexstart Eskimo Spy. Thank you for subscribing. You are this week's MVS. <laughs> Most valued subscriber. Valuable. Oh, harsh. Tom is trying to uh, emote uh, Patrick Tom in the <laughs> chat, and he failed. <laughs> he failed, Tom. Didn't put any spaces between the. Show them the mechanics. Oh shit! They'll be able to reproduce oh. their own. For a second there, we almost we almost gave away that this isn't actually a person. <laughs> actually. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, put hashtag No Shield in the chat if you want to be a part of the giveaway. We're going to be doing it right now. No more entries. Okay. What oh, is the first thing? You can keep entering, doing? right? You can keep entering. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Keep entering. Crazy. Hashtag no shield. Follow us on Twitch. Be a part of this giveaway. The final giveaway for today's stream. The spin biggest it. Giveaway. Spin the biggest wow, wheel. Wow, look at that spin. A hat. A hat. And it's a hat. And this hat goes to Rough Ride. Rough Ride. Thank you for Europe. joining and congratulations. It's Ben. It's a hat, and this hat goes to Mr. Queest. Mr. Queest, thank you and congratulations. Thank you for your hat you. in your inbox. Thank you for joining us on moment. this warm Friday evening. It's really warm in here. It's, it's quite so stuffy. hot. I think it's all the hats. It's all that friction. It's generating this heat. Another hat goes to Holy Hand Grenade. Holy Hand Grenade. Congratulations. Nice avatar, man. Like it. Is it actually a Holy Hand Grenade? It is. Lovely. Oh. <laughs> <gasps> It's a oh, hat. Wheel rigged. Yeah, wheel rigged. It's a hat, and it goes to Dr. Krampus. Thank Dr. you very much. Dr. Krampus. Congratulations. I got Tom's entered as well. That's <laughs> if Tom wins, we're banning him. Is that legit, Tom? I don't know. Yeah, I think it is. It might not be. Oh, Drakenfell's key. Nice. Congratulations. This, this is a Drakenfell's key for the new DLC, Steam key, and a hat for... Mr. Null underscore mind, or Null mind. Null mind. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you for following us. Mm. 
We're gonna spin the wheel again. What do we have? It's... It is a hat. Well spotted. It is a hat. And this one goes to... Huegli. Huegli. Huegli? Huegli. Congratulations. You don't have an avatar, so we can't comment on it. Another hat will be really soon. Thank you for following and joining us oh. this Friday evening. <laughs> it's a game key! This is base Vermitide, right? Base edition of Vermitide, yes. Nice. That's the key of the base game that you can send to a friend. You can use yourself. If you don't even have it, you can now... You, you now have it? Exactly. You're also going to be getting a hat. So congratulations mm. and thank you for joining and following. Let's do this game. Stuff. So the next one is... What's that? that? You didn't say the name of the guy. Did we? Did you? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Did we? I'm not listening. You're not really, are you? If you didn't, it was uh, Sandra Boltus. That was, no, that was a different guy. Yeah. That that was the guy that won the key. I think this is... <laughs> he has now. He has now? <laughs> <laughs> Check it out. We didn't say the name. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Bring it back up. What was the name? Sandro Boltus. I'm just kidding, right? This is, we've been doing this for two years. Yeah, it's, it's, Zandro Boltus, you've won a base game copy. I think we got so excited about the fact that there was a, a like, game we gave away a game key. Yeah. That we didn't give it we, to anyone. We're so excited by the fact that the wheel is obviously not rigged. Exactly. <laughs> or is it? We just don't know. <laughs> the next thing we're giving away. Okay, we're going to say the name <laughs> so quickly now. Wilhelm999, <laughs> you've Wilhelm. just won the hat. Congratulations. Be on your, it'll be on its way to you soon. Wilhelm 999, Wilhelm 999, Wilhelm 999. That's the scream, right? <gasps> I recognize this name. Yeah, I know this guy. This we is that. This guy. We're giving away it's a girl in hat. The it's, it's, it's City Chan. City Chan. City Chan. Congratulations. This is a name that I've been seeing all over the place. Lately. Everywhere. Yeah. It's also a subscriber. Congratulations. And thank you, yes. Thank you for both following and subscribing. Pop some Tom's beards in the chat. The for charities everybody. love you. They do. Uh, we have a hat. Another hat for another subscriber. Mm -hmm. Mr. Uh, Mrs. A Tech walk. Priest Sarath. Tech Priest Sarath, congratulations. Thank you for subscribing. Thank I you. really appreciate it. And the final uh, hat goes to. Controversial. Mr. Dark Phoenix 777 winning a yet another hat. Wow. Mm. Dark Phoenix 777. Double hatage. Congratulations. Congratulations. Just won your second hat. City mm. Chan saying, oh my god, yay. Congratulations. Mm. And the final hat. <laughs> we don't know it's a hat yet. It's, it's a hat. hat. Uh, it goes to... Aldrith CZ. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Congratulations. Aldrith, thank you for joining the stream and enjoy your new hat. Congratulations. We're wrapping up right now. Definitely make sure to tune in on Tuesdays at 5 p.m. CST. Check out myself, Liam O'Neill, producer here at Fat Shark. Leo Wakelin, who was going to introduce me. Do it. It's fine. No, Take it away. No, 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 come on. All right. Yeah. Tom Batsford. And, and Blondie, our stream master. And this is how we always end our streams, in chaos, just as intended from the start. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been great streaming in front of you all today. Enjoy the weekend, enjoy Vermintide. Definitely make sure to check out the new Drakenfels DLC. And we'll see you next time. We'll see you maybe next week, Tuesday, 5 p.m. CEST.